Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a, another Rick Sunday stream. Thanks for being with me, everybody. How you doing? How's your Sundays? And thank you, the tall Rapassi, for uh, those two months in a row, three total, saying, hey, Rick, congrats on your upcoming little one. Also, you should train Felicia to do things for you like Bird Reynolds. I should, maybe. There's a lot of potential Felicia has. Uh, sorry for a little bit of a delayed uh, start, guys. I actually thought I was streaming. I thought I had set the stream to start at like 12 and I was getting some tea ready and stuff. And when I came upstairs, I realized that the stream wasn't in fact going. So my bad there, guys, uh, apologies. Ooh, I was getting some tea ready. Ooh, that's hot, that's some hot tea. I got hot tea. You guys got hot drinks ready? It's cold outside. At least for us in the Northern Hemisphere, those of you guys in the Southern Hemisphere, how's the weather? How's spring treating you guys, huh? Um, what is, hold on. What is going on in chat? Things are happening. Okay. There was weird things happening. I wasn't sure what was happening. I think the moderators took care of it. Uh, it's cold here, but all I have is water. Danny, you know what? Stay hydrated. Tea will keep you hydrated. No hot drinks, but hot pizza. Ooh, jealous of the hot pizza. Enchanted Tigris, I'm doing great. And Merit, what is going on? Nothing's happening. Thank you guys for being with us, you guys. Uh, you, we've got some amazing moderators here to keep you guys safe in chat. Uh, in Washington, it's cold. Yeah, it's it keeps getting really cold here. And then I keep expecting snow. But then it's just not quite that cold. Florida, it's 75 degrees, baby! Really? Okay. That's like the one good thing Florida has going for it is the weather. Sometimes. Even sometimes that's bad because the humidity, right? Oh, the humidity is going to get you. So let's talk. Um, what are we going to do today on stream? Um, absolutely obsessed with uh, Planet Zoo, guys. A game I cannot stop playing. But I've been playing the challenge mode because the market in franchise mode. I've discussed this a little bit. It's a little borked because people are just selling animals for a lot of money and it's hard to buy the good animals, but I think I've got a plan figured out. I've had several franchises. As a matter of fact, I can just go on to the game and show you. Um, in my time, I've tried just building different franchises, just farting around, and I had this brilliant idea to take all of the animals from all of my franchises start a new franchise, or not a new franchise, but a new zoo within my franchise, and then just bring all the good animals in there so we can start with a bunch of amazing animals and um, give us a really good head start, and then hopefully start making some credits, popping out some good babies, sending them to other zoos and whatnot. Uh, we'll see how this works out. I think it's going to work, though. Rick, have you seen the shooting star? What shooting star? I, I do not know of which shooting star you speak of. Andrew said it's currently 36 degrees for me and we're supposed to get snow. I'm not excited, said Andrew. See, if, if you're from a place where you normally get snow, yeah, it's easy to not get excited about that. Why do I have a zoo in the ocean? That's strange. Whatever. Okay. Um, but I've got this Stumptown Park Zoo ready to go. And what do you say? Let's just jump in, all right? We're going to do a franchise mode, new Stumptown Park, and I've got an idea to get us a head start on this franchise, all right? Merritt said it's 30, 36 degrees here as well, according to Google. I know you gotta convert that into the, the Celsius for you, 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 you awesome Europeans out there. All right, I know I need staff rooms, all that stuff. I had just put down this trade room so I could start trading. Uh, Verncos, thank you for that uh, 22 month resub, you guys. Drop some bears, appreciate it. Uh, so, what I've done is I've migrated all of the animals from all of my other zoos within this franchise to my trading um, area. And then I am just going to populate our new zoo with all of these animals. I've just sort of saved the best and the brightest of the animals that we have so that we can actually just start off with a pretty decent selection of animals. We don't need to buy any animals to begin. We can just sort of like get our animals um, going real quick now. All right, so let's start by just making some paths real quick. We know how to do this quick. I am pretty good at getting the basics of a zoo started, so I'm just going to go ahead and do... Make it a little bit longer. 
Okay, that's gonna be our first path. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move you out of the way. And whoops, we're going to put down our first facilities. So in the front, I like to do um, my quarantine and my hospital up front. Thank you, Lily Integer, for those 22 months in a row. Hey, Rick. Hey, everyone. Hope you all have a nice weekend. Thank you, Lily. That means a lot. I hope you're having a fantabulous weekend. You guys drop some bears for Lily. Um, here, I'm just going to go to my negative impact to make sure that we aren't on any um, paths here. And then I'm going to push. Okay, so we're going to put the quarantine there. We'll put the vet surgery. Um, boom, boom. Flip you around. Right about... Is that intersecting? Where's the path? God, this mode, like the way everything goes gray, they could do a better job, honestly, in this mode, representing like where paths are and stuff, seeing as though the negative areas are going to directly impact paths. See that? Where's the path? Where's the path? It's gone. All right, anyway. Uh, okay, so we've got that down. And lastly, I'm going to put our trade center over here as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is put down some pithy paths. All right. You know, let's go with red. Red's a nice festive color. And then I'm going to put a path going this way. And then a path going that way. And then lastly, a path. Whoops. That's a little crooked. Going straight out. Let's take you, my friend. Boop, boop, boop. Move you right over here. And then we will put you at the end here. There we go. So that's going to be our little hospital animal trade area. <clears throat> we'll just keep that there. And now let's make our first exhibit, shall we? First exhibit is going to... Um, I've been kind of into this idea of making circular exhibits. Uh, when I first started doing my zoo, I liked the idea of like going kind of organic and making things flow. But then I've become, become kind of obsessed with making circular things. So I think I'm going to stick on the circular animal enclosure thing. And here's a little trick I picked up. So I want to make the circle line up right with the middle of this road, right? How am I going to do that? I'm going to hold down. Sometimes it takes a couple times before this actually works, but there you go. You can hold down control, and then your path isn't going to automatically snap to that other path. And then I'm going to put this path right about halfway between, like so. Okay. Um, by the way, why does this have... Okay, I didn't want that to have the guardrails, and I don't know why it did, but we'll try this again. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to make a circular path. And this is kind of what I did the last time I streamed this game, was I made circular paths. But I've sort of, in my downtime in the last week, uh, I don't want to say perfected, because, I, I mean, perfection is something that you can never quite achieve. But I've come a long way towards perfecting making the circular enclosures. So, now, finally, boom... And you know what? That's pretty close to being centered. So now I can just go ahead and do this last path. Boom, right there. Okay, cool. So there's our first circular enclosure. And then I'm going to just throw up the barriers, right? Boo, boo, boo. Barriers. I'm going to do 10 meters, 10 meter barriers. And this is going to offer some uniformity to our zoo as well, which I, I kind of like. Um, a lot of these animals need a certain amount of space. This is going to give them the space that they need without giving them excess amounts of space. Because when there's excess amounts of space, I think that just means more work for keepers, cleaning and stuff. Say if a uh, animal needs, like, I don't know, 1,200 square meters of space and we give them 3,000. Sure, that's very nice of us, but that's just added work for our keepers. And uh, they don't need that. They don't need all that added work. Okay. And then I'm going to go from this side. What I'm trying to say is that I'm going to try to keep the space needed for the animals as close to what they actually need. Oh, who was that? That was uh, Ecritus. 43 months. Ecritus, long time stumped follower there. I know I rarely peek into stream due to my schedule, but I still watch your YouTube. Just got to come flex this stream. It means a lot, Ecritus. Uh, it's been a while. Thanks a lot. That That's awesome. Thanks for sticking around. You guys drop some bears. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is put down the barrier wall, and there we go. So there is our first um, enclosure, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an area for all of our peoples. Danny Morris just gifted a sub to Chad Pines. Thank you, Danny. Keep dropping those bears. Uh, let's do a... We're, we're on that red kick there, and we're going to want to center it as best we can. There we go. And... 
and make a nice, um, I want to make a square area, a squarea, if you will. Whoops. Actually, that is not a squarea. Try again, Rick. That's a rectangle, isn't it? That's not that's not a square. Um I need it smaller. So what I want to do is I want to put our water, our power, and then like five huts in this. But I need to make sure that the paths are just right. Thank you to uh Liav uh Menachem. Is am I saying that right? Liav Menachem from Israel. Drop in a hundred bits. Thank you. That means a lot, you guys. Drop some bears. I love it when people come and peek in on the stream from all over the world. It's awesome. Uh, and Chimp Girl resubbing for six months in a row, saying, well, howdy. Happy Sunday, y'all. Happy Sunday, Chimp Girl. Thanks for uh, being with us today. Okay, there's our... Whoa, come on. There's our Squaria. All right, so we've got our Squaria. Um, and what I'm going to do with this Squaria... And I, I need to trademark that, okay? Uh, that is my word now. I'm going to put down some facilities. We're going to need power. We're going to need water. So you can actually see that we have power, right? Power begins at the... Uh, oh, actually, we it doesn't stretch out that far, though, does it? Because we are a considerable distance from the... Yeah, so we're just outside of range, and that's kind of perfect. So I can put down the power that we're going to need right over here. And let's flip it so that it is facing the proper way. So... There we go, perfect. And then the water, I'm gonna put back here. So there we go, we got water and power. And I wanna make sure that they're, okay, they're plenty far away, so they're not gonna annoy people with their presence. And then lastly, our staff facilities. So there's a few facilities I wanna put over here. We've already got our research center, or not our research center, but our trade center over here, right? So actually, the trade center, now that we're thinking about it, should go over here. So I'm going to relocate our trade center over to here, all right? And I'm going to put a trade center right back here. There we go. Trade center back there. And then in this little funky little spot, our um, break room will fit perfectly right here. So we'll go ahead and put the staff room over here. There we go. Now we have four spots for other rooms, right? So I'm going to put down one mechanic room. Which I'll slap over here. There we go. And then I'm going to put down a... Uh, what is it? A keeper hut. This is where a keeper is going to prepare the foods and stuff for the animals and whatnot. Alright, keeper hut. Blow, right there. So there we go. I've got two empty spots here. We'll keep those free for later. But those are all the rooms that we need. We have... Um, oh... Those are almost all the rooms that we need. We just need a research center for our veterinarian. Okay, so the research center I'm going to put over here where the trade center used to be. There we go. Okay, so that's all the rooms that we need. Let's go ahead and hire our staff real quick. Uh, caretaker. When is something starting? The 6th. That's when something is starting. I saw somebody ask. Keeper. Mechanic. Security. Um, veterinarian. There we go. Perfect. And in this first exhibit, I'm not sure what we're going to put here just yet, but I do know that what we're going to need is some donation boxes. Which I'm going to put at the end of every piece of wall. Because we just want to spam these kind of all over the place so that people can be constantly reminded that they should be donating to this zoo. All right. You want to save the animals? It starts at home. Dig deep. Okay. And then we're going to need some windows too. Otherwise, how are these people going to see these amazing animals? How are they going to know that there are even animals in here? Okay. So, windows and... Windows and... Wait, is that right? Windows and windows. I guess that is right. Um, oh, 
Oh, I see what I did wrong. I knew I did something wrong. Okay. I want to start the windows here. Windows and... Windows and over here. More windows. Come on, drag it. There we go. Last set of windows. Right here. Okay, cool. So now our little... Uh, Exhibit has windows so that people can see the animals. I'm gonna make this a little bit taller because two meters, I mean, that's only like six feet. That seems a little low, you know what I mean? Chances are the animals aren't gonna get out. But what I do realize is that if I were to build, say, a little hill in here and it were over two meters and my animals stood on top of that hill so that their head was looking over the uh, wall, it would technically say it's out of the area and it has escaped. It's ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, there's our first um, little area. Last thing I'm gonna do is put down our info boards for these animals. Flip them around, plop them down. And I'm just gonna do one at the middle of each of these. So what's weird is the first board that I pick up, it doesn't go into this view. Each additional board that I pick up goes into this view, which is like the education view, and I don't really know how to not make it go into this view. I've just learned to put up with it, but it's weird that it does that. It forces you to go into that. Okay. Now, which animals are we going to put in there? That's where we can go to our animal trading and actually start to pick out some animals. So, I'm thinking some solitary animals would be a good idea to put in here. Um, like, maybe some wild African dogs, huh? So, yeah, let's go ahead and move our dogs into this area. Um... I'm wondering, should I quarantine them first? Um, because I did move them from my other zoo. But you know what? Let's just be safe, huh? And let's just move them into quarantine. And I have more than one male dog. And one is a baby, and that's why. So I have to let this baby grow up. There we go. So the first thing we're going to have is wild African dogs in our zoo. Am I starting a new series of this on YouTube, too? Um, to be determined. I put all of my series so far on YouTube. Why are you guys stuck here? What is going on? Um, super weird. Okay. We're gonna have to fix that. Thank you, Keiko, for that brand new subscriber. Uh, or subscription, you guys. Drop some bears for Keiko. That's <laughs> a ridiculous name. Amazing. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Y'all got stuck there. Couldn't figure out how to walk properly. All right, that was, you're not going to get stuck, are you? Okay, you're not stuck. Fantastic. Oh, weirdos, weirdos. Okay, quarantine's passed. Yeah, these animals um, seem, oh, two of them are passed. Let's wait and see if all four pass. I imagine that they should because I've transferred them from my other zoos, but let's just be sure. I want to make sure that we're putting healthy animals in here. And while we're waiting, we can actually look up um, what kind of stuff our wild dogs are going to need. Wait, what am I doing? Habitat, that's what we want. Okay, it looks like they passed. So, wild dogs are going to need um, some shelter. I think that, actually, you know what? I'm not 100% sure the dogs need shelter. Hard shelter, that is. So, let's move them into here real quick, and I'll check. But what I do know is that they're going to need some food, right? They're going to need... Um, Put a food tray down right here. All right. Now let's figure out what our dogs need. Yeah, I, I don't think the wild dogs need hard shelters. Um, if I look at habitat. Yeah. Uh, oh, they do. Okay. Might be the... I could have sworn there was a dog that didn't need hard shelters, but I could be mistaken. Some animals just don't need them. Um, let's give you guys a big old shelter. All right. I'll put you a big old shelter back here. And I don't think these animals are skittish, so I don't think they're going to get shy and stressed out from being viewed like uh, bongos and some of the other more skittish animals do. Um, and then let's just make sure that we give them the proper environment. They're going to need more short grass, less long grass, a little bit more soil. And, of course, they're going to need a little watering hole, too. Uh, as far as space goes, yeah, this enclosure is 1,208 meters squared. They need 1,500, so they've got just enough space. And let's go ahead and give them some water, then. That should allow us to make a pretty decent water area, so. Just play around with the terrain tool here. 
I'm gonna make like a deep end so they have an area to swim around in. There we go. And then just kind of smooth it out and drop some water in. Um, obstructed. Why, why four obstructed? Why four now obstructed? Okay, fine. You can obstruct me? Fine. Okay, there's our watering hole. And let's get some short grass in here now. Short grass. I'll be making some short grass hills. Short grass valleys. You know, just kind of change the topography. And then they're going to need some soil. Let's go light soil. Dust the area around here with some soil. Turn up the intensity of that soil there. Um, and that's looking pretty good. Looks like they do like sand. And I like to kind of make little sand pits for them to roll around in. So. Just want to make that the sand pit. Okay. And then we're going to give them some trees real quick. Nature is going to be grassland. And Africa. All right. Um, I do like giving them these big trees. That gives them instant bonuses. They, they love the big trees. There we go. Actually, no, I'm not going to put it there. Because I may want to build something that uh, people can view from above. So let's put it there. And how about some of these pretty trees too? Got some bushes to put down as well. I like to put the elephant grass near the water. And some flowers as well. And that's pretty good. So we got a nice dog area. Let's just make sure that their welfare is looking good. 100 is across the board except for their enrichment, which we've got to teach our people uh, something about enrichment. First, let's crank up the promotions. Go to staff room. Set this to learning resource so that they learn a little bit faster. And set some vet research to dogs and set some research to barriers. There we go. So we've already got our first animals right there. It didn't really take nothing from us to do that. Got any red pandas in your zoo yet? I did get some red pandas in one of my like free time playthroughs, but not in this one. Hopefully we can get some. We do have some primates to play around with though today. So there we go. We've got some people coming into our zoo to enjoy the place. Um, and we can already plan our next exhibit because we've got the animals for it. We just need to make the space. So the next exhibit, I'm going to slow this down a little bit. I'm going to keep it running because I want my people researching, right? Thank you to Twilight Kiss for those eight months. Woohoo! Finally able to subscribe again. So glad to be back. Hi, Rick. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much, Twilight Kiss. Glad to see you. Thanks for that resub. Um, okay, so I'm going to build that there, and we're going to start building some paths, all right? Let's just keep that thing making money. And just like we did over on that other side, we're going to build a circular thing over here. And that is going to be the name of the game with this zoo. It's going to be a series of concentric circles. Almost there. There we go. Circle number two. Perfect. And then we're going to just finish creating that path. Is that too far? Or is that just as far as the other path? Um, here's how I can kind of measure. I'm going to take a barrier. And then I'm going to put this barrier from... I'm going to use this as like a yardstick, basically. So, that's around... Just over 12 meters, and this distance here is just under 12 meters, so... Yeah, I mean, you know what? That's close enough. That's close enough for what we need, right? Uh, let's now do the 
Worker path. Worker path, worker path. Okay. So there is our second um, area for our enclosure. And this way, this is going to be in the water area. This area is going to be in the water area. I'll build one over here. Same thing. And then one over here. And then they'll all have access to water and power. All right. Now let's do our barriers. Just like we did last time. We're gonna do. Oh, we need to set this back to four or to ten, and get right to the edge. Beautiful. All right. So I did find a way to make blueprints of enclosures, and I did think, why don't I just make blueprints of these enclosures since I'm gonna build them over and over again? But the problem is. In order for this enclosure to work the way that I want it to, to look the way that it does, like it does now, um, is I need to build the paths first, and then build the enclosure inside the paths. And when you do that, and then you make a blueprint, and then try to place the blueprint, it's basically impossible to place that blueprint between the paths. So that's why I'm not making blueprints, and I'm doing it the difficult way. Okay, so there is our next enclosure, and just like our last one, I'm going to make the windows match. I do like something about the uniformity of this stuff. And not every one of our enclosures is going to look like this, by the way. The first four definitely are. But we are going to add some variety as well. So do not worry about that. Where is the button to pull it up? Every now and then that button disappears. And it's kind of annoying. Let's try it again. All the way around. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes. Sometimes. See, where's the button? Where's the pull it up button? Jeez. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's try this again. There it is. This is the button to pull it up. Jeez, sometimes it just is not there. The game has its little foibles. Okay. So... Um, variety has in other shapes, ovals, and squares. Yes. All of the shapes. Um, so, okay, there's our second enclosure, and we need a way for our people to get to it, right? So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and make a big old path. Like that. Okay. That's how we're going to connect these areas. Now we just need to get our, um... Facilities set up for that, which means that we're going to need, um, nope, not wild dogs. That is not what we need. We need some donation boxes. Fourteen. 12, 13, I've counted. 14, and then, of course, our video boards. I wish when I clicked on it that I didn't have to re-click it, you know what I mean? I wish I could click on it once and then just place signs. Instead of having to go and re-click it each time. There are little quality of life changes that I would make in this game if it were up to me just to make it easier. Okay, perfect. So our vet just got done with their first research, which is perfect. Because now that's just in time for us to put down our new animal. I kind of want our vet to research the level one for each animal before I put down another one. So our next animal is going to be... Let's see. The black or the black wildebeest, they can um, co-mingle with like the ostriches. So I'm going to save them for one of our bigger um, areas. But we can go ahead and put our bongos in now. So, let's, yeah, let's move our bongos. I'm going to move them to quarantine first. And like we sort of discussed with the dogs, I don't necessarily know if they need to be in quarantine, but, you know, you can never be too safe. So, let's speed it up. Get those animals through quarantine. All right. Are donation boxes that profitable in Planet Zoo? Yeah, they are 
pretty much the sole. Why do you guys keep getting stuck here? This is annoying. Oh, this is infuriating right here. What is happening here? Um, you know what? Let's break that path. I wonder if it's something to do with the path. That is so weird that they keep getting stuck there. Here, I'm going to try switching the path up like that. Ugh. Okay. By the way, why does this keep popping up? That's getting really annoying. Okay, my African dogs are about to mate. That's cool. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on this area and make sure that they're not getting stuck anymore. Okay. By the way, this should not be here. I just noticed. We had a stray thing. Okay. Go! Go! I'm really surprised that they haven't gotten cleared from quarantine yet. Come on. Well, I guess it's because they didn't actually get them to quarantine because my people were stuck for so long. Alright, there's one quarantine. Ready to go. And the next one? Next one? Two. Got it. Okay. Gonna move all my bongos over to this new bongo home. Bongonia over here. Uh, oh, and you know what? I can put the info for wild dogs on these boards. There we go. There we go. On the boards. Learn about wild dogs. Why don't you? Um, do my wild dogs have any enrichment items that I can give them yet? Let's find out. Uh, wild dogs, enrichment. They do have some sprinklers that we can put down. Here we go. You little cuties. Go play in the sprinklers, you silly little puppies, you. And I got a reward. Let's see here. Reward here. Um, I got... Adopt and place two different habitat species. Boom. Reward has been taken. Did I move all of my dogs in here, by the way? Didn't I? I had several dogs, right? Hold on. I can't remember if I moved all of them. I did, right? Yeah, they're all moved. Cool. Okay. All my puppy dogs. Because at a certain point, I'm going to need to check in on them. Because my males are going to grow up. And they're not going to be happy with uh, competing for... Alpha space and stuff, or status. Uh, okay, so we got our bongos. Let's get our bongos, some bongo stuff here. Bongo shelter. Um, I think this size shelter will do just fine for our bongos. And I'm going to sort of place the shelters in similar spots each time. This spot back here will give them a little bit of privacy. There we go. And you know what? Here, have some nice hay to lay on. Okay, terrain, you're going to need... A lot of soil. That's right. You're one of those animals that loves your soil. So let's hook you up with soil. Just going to go ham on soil. And you know what? Let's go big. There we go. Because I know I'm going to need lots of soil. Like the majority is going to be soil. Soil and rock. Okay. So let's switch over to rock now. And let's make some rocky hills. Also gonna need to put water in. Um, and how about some soil divots? No, I said soil. I said soil, damn it. There we go, soil. Or to mess it around a little bit. Um, and oh, let's make a rock water area. Gonna definitely need a little pool of some sort. Okay, where's the water area gonna go? Probably right over here. Let's maybe have it wrap around this area a little bit. Give you also a swimming area. I like you guys to be able to swim. Okay. Cool, there's your pool. And what about, um, Okay, your heart shelter's good. Oh, and there is not enough short grass. I need just a little bit more short grass. So. There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. All right. And you like a tropical Africa nature. Okay. So let's get rid of grassland and go biome tropical. All right. So that means I love these little plants. I like to put them around the little watering holes. Sort of.
And, um, oh, they have those mangroves. Yeah, the coastal mangroves. I like to plop you in the water. There we go. It's a nice little oasis area there. And, oh, those trees are entirely too big. I like these tamarind trees. Very pretty, these tamarind trees. So let's put down some tamarinds. There we go. A couple of these tree ferns. There we go, and there's our animal spot. Oh, the last thing they need is they need a food dish, right? So I don't think that bongos like to be in groups bigger than two. I'm pretty sure they like groups of two. Let me see. No, oh, okay. No, it must be the Nyala that like group of twos. I always get or the Gemsbok, the Nyala, and the Bongo are all pretty similar. These ones actually like bigger groups, so maybe a bigger food dish would be a good idea. Here we go. Give you guys room to grow. And there we go. There's our bongo area. I'm just going to set the boards to bongo time. Setting the boards to bongo time. Bongo time. There we go. It's time to bongo. People are already coming up. Check them out. All right. So there's our second set of animals. Before I do any more animals, and we are going to get those other animals here very shortly, I'm going to want to make sure that we have, um, ooh, a bongo's about to mature, um, some trash cans and all those kind of things. Otherwise, people are going to start littering, and it's going to just turn into a disgusting mess. So um, what I'm going to do is place trash cans behind each of these. That's basically going to be my rule of thumb. Behind every board is going to be a set of trash cans. There we go. Because what did I say? I like uniformity. That's what I said. So this will help us maintain uniformity. So, by the way, notice how when I select trash cans, I can keep placing trash cans without having to re-click. I re-click to switch the trash can, and this is what I was talking about with the boards. So with the boards, I have to actually reselect it each time I want to place a new one, which is annoying, considering that I don't need to do that with trash cans. Anyway, I'm just finding new reasons to gripe about things. Um, ignore it. All right, and then let's put down some benches so that people have a place to rest. If they get tired from looking at all these amazing animals. There we go. More rest areas for you guys. And it looks like I'm still making a profit now. Even though I'm putting down all these new things and making these new improvements, it seems as though we're still making a profit, so that's great. Money's still in the black. How cool would it be just to sit on these benches and look at these Okapi play? I think it's pretty cool. Okay. So there we go. Um, there's our first areas. You can double press H to turn that off, I believe. Oh, Danny. Okay. At least the view, you mean? The view is one thing. Um, I can press double, uh, double press H. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, okay. So we've just researched level two of, or level one of barriers. So once we get to five, we'll be able to do the one-way glass, which will help our skittish little animals like bongos. All right, so we've got more animals to place. What is the next animal that we're going to place? Let's see here. I kind of want to keep it themed, so I want it to sort of be an African animal. The warthog, the ostrich, and the wildebeest could all live together, so I think the next ones are going to be either Gemsbox or Nayala, which I'll put um, right down here, I think. So let's go ahead and make our path. Right in the middle. Okay, and then let's do our circular path. Go to seven and... Okay. Yep, and there we go. They, Like I was talking about, I knew that our little puppy would mature soon enough and then they will start to fight for territory. So let's just take a look at these pups that are fighting real quick. So I got Latoya, who, I mean, they're both gold, I believe. Zahara and Latoya. So little 
Or actually, Zahara. 58 size, 100% longevity, 83% fertility, and 50% immunity versus Latoya, who, I'm sorry, just has way better stats. So, I think I'm going to put Zahara out to pasture. So, I'm going to... Let's see. I think I can do it from... Can I not do it from here? There we go. I can. Okay, so I can release this animal or I can trade this animal. And I am curious about trading them. So, if I go into my animal trading, because this is the way that people are making money in this game now. So, this one, I could trade them. They are 8.9 years old. And why does it say that they're silver? Weren't they just gold when I was looking at them before? I could have sworn they were. Anyway... I'll have to go back to the tape. Anyway, I can trade this animal. And if I were to look at the market at Wild African Dogs, I'm curious to know what a Wild African Dog is going for these days. Um, am I filtered by Springbok? There we go. Come on. So African Dogs are... I guess I could just filter by African Dog if I wanted to. Let's do that. I did not expect there to be so many animals in here. Okay. Okay. Wow, there's not a lot of dogs on here right now. And there's no male dogs, which is surprising to me. So I could probably ask a decent amount for this little animal. So I'm going to do it. Let's go to our animal storage. And I'm going to say, Zahara, I'm going to trade you for, I don't know. Oh my god, not that much. Can't I just, okay, good, I can. Let's trade you for, I don't know. It's increments of five, okay. I'm going to trade you for... 75. Okay, there we go. And now, they'll be on the market for an hour. We'll see if we get that 75. Okay. Next up, we are going to finish um, the path that we were just doing, right? So let's go back to the path. And I'm about to sneeze. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> for the sneeze. Oh, my God. There's always at least one per stream. And I sneeze like that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the tidings and good, the blessings and good tidings. I was going to say the tidings and good blessings. That's backwards. Okay, I got another dog that's about to mature. Is it a male dog? If it is, we're going to have to get rid of another dog. Wait, where did I go wrong on this circle? Over here. Okay. There we go. New circle. And let's complete the staff path. That is not centered as much as I would like it, but you know what? That's fine. Not going to get it 100% perfect. There we go. Um, oh, we got ourselves another present. We've already gotten 300 guests in this zoo. So this zoo is already taken off like a rocket. Um, let's do another big path. Ten. Um, oh, I'm gonna need to move this other set of benches here, which is in the way. There we go. This path is gonna go pretty similar to this other path, which is right around here. There we go. Yep, and now we've got another set of animals that are fighting. So, there they are, because we had another male... That was so now we have two gold pups. So we've got wait, actually, no. We've had two male pups, apparently. Okay, let me take a look at my animals. How many wild dogs do I have in here? Got six. Okay, yeah. We've got one more male pup. And Bomani and Akinlana. Which one's one of you guys is gonna have to go? Akinlana, you're amazing. Or actually, that's Bonami, right? Bonami, you're incredible. Okay. Um, Akinlana, you're okay. I'm going to go ahead and put you on the market, though. All right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to market you. Put you in the trade center. And send you away. All right. And similar to our other pupper, um, Akinlana. I'm... Okay. That time, I know for a fact... Akinlana was gold, and then I put them into my trade center, and they were silver. 
I am not losing my mind, am I? That was a gold dog. I'm almost positive, like 95%, that before I put them in the Trade Center, they were gold, and they are now silver. That is, that is shenanigans, is what that is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. The gold turned silver, right? That is, that is nonsense, is what that is. Um, all right, I'm gonna trade you. What the hell, dude? That is not cool. All right, I'm selling you for 75 as well. Um, VIP research is completed. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, we researched twice on those puppies. Here we go. Let's get that bongo going. Maybe it scales based on the animals available. Maybe. If uh, either way, that's that's ridiculous. Because how are you supposed to know what you have? Like, if in your park it says it's gold and then you put it on the trade center and it says it's silver, or God forbid, maybe even bronze? Like, and as far as availability goes, I'm going to call shenanigans on that too. Because when I just checked to see how many animals were available, there were no males on the market. So if that's the case, then they should be solid gold, if not platinum, if it's based on availability. That's, that's, that's silly. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm not going to get too caught up on that. We're going to keep moving on. Um, let's go ahead and build some barriers now. And... A little farther back. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Damn it! Control-Z is a thing, but... Control-Shift-Control-Z isn't, unfortunately. Which means that I have to put this thing back manually. There we go. Okay. I wish that there was a redo button. Okay, that's close enough. Close enough. All the way around with our fences. And then we circle back around to here. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's put down our barrier door. And... Let's put in our water area real quick, because I know our animal's going to need a water area. That is not up for debate. Out a little bit. And now drop some water. Cool. Okay. And I think... Let's do the Gemsbach in here, huh? So... Gemsbach are going to need... Well, first, they're going to need a place to eat. So let's pop that down there. We're going to need a hard shelter. Pop that down there. A little bed of hay. There we go. And as far as what they're going to need, as far as um, their terrain goes, we'll find out. Let's just move them in now. Gems box. It was... Is it because it was in fight and you grabbed it? No. No. That that wouldn't change the, um, the rating of it. Because that's based on stats. So their gene size, longevity, fertility, immunity, that's not going to change based on whether or not they're in a fight. Um, I think it's just something funky with the game, honestly. Uh, let's go by Gems box. There we go. Let's filter... And let's start grabbing all of our gems, all right? So once again, I got a gold gems box. So we'll see. I wish that I can grab all these guys. I really do. Um, at once. That would be super helpful. But I actually have to click each one individually, which is a little annoying. Again, something that I would definitely change. Hopefully in an update in the game. Just let me grab all of them. Because there are situations where it lets you grab all the animals. There's like a check all... And I don't understand why it doesn't allow me to do it now. All right. Move you. And move you. Okay. Which ones still need to be moved? Do all of these need to move? I can't tell if you guys are in transit or what. Okay, I'm just going to speed it up and see which ones have been moved. Control Y? Wait, what's Control Y do? 
What's control Y? Is, is control Y select all? If that's if that's the case, you are a lifesaver. Let me see something. Control Y. Control Y. No, that's not the select all. Oh, redo is control Y. Is is really okay? That that is that's interesting. That's interesting. All right. Yet another reason why I love playing these games with you guys. You fill me in on all the little tips. Move, damn it! Move! I, I'm clicking move! Move. And... One more left. Okay, good. All have moved. Okay. Um, inspectors at my zoo. Okay, they're all passing quarantine now. Fantastic! Alright, four have passed quarantine. How many did I have? I think there were like six. I had a bunch of gems box. Okay. See, it lets you select all here, which is super helpful. I, I really don't understand why it allows you to do that in some menus and not others. Consistency would be... Would be nice. Uh, okay. We've still got to put down windows and stuff, so let's do that real quick. Window. Window. Vasilis, thank you for those 33 months, you guys. Drop some bears. Thanks for the support, man. All right, and um, facilities. So, double H. That's helpful. That's helpful. I do have to hit it each time, but still, it's better than nothing. Because that view is a little annoying. Like, it thinks it's being helpful. It's not. Okay. At a certain point, I'm going to need to hire new help as well. As I'm putting in more animals, our keeper and our mechanics going to have more to do. But we are going to be making more money with all these new animals too. So we should be able to afford it. And as I train my staff as well, um, they're going to demand a higher salary. So once I promote them, they're going to become more expensive. But a promoted staff works more efficiently as well. So pros and cons there. Um, okay, so we're just going to wait for our Gemsbok. Habitat 2 is damaged. Ooh, it is very damaged. Let's get the mechanic over there. ASAP. Okay, good. You're on your way. And many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Yeah, we are already well on our way to getting quite the zoo going here. So we can jack those prices. We're at still at $3. I bet you we can go up to 6 easily and not offend anybody. There we go. Children pay the same amount as parents. Uh, what did the keeper say, by the way? How did that, uh, whole thing go down? Um, okay. It's not a terrible review. It'll get better. Uh, I did learn a little bit more about my puppy dogs, though. So I could probably, um, get them some new stuff, I think. Let's find out. Uh, wild dog. And go enrichment. Yep. Yeah, can get them a dog ball now. Here you go, guys. It's a dog ball for my puppies. How is your happiness there, pupperinos? Let's check in on them. Click you and see how happy you are. Just swimming around there. Welfare's 77, not bad. Need more enrichment items in order to make them happier. Uh, but wow, they got hundreds across the board on a lot of things. I could probably give them some better nutrition now. I would imagine. Uh, come on. There we go. Food quality, yeah. Up that to food quality too. Get them some better food. Okay, so our gems box are in here now. People are going to start to check them out. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't raise the level of this to the same level as all the others. And again, where is the button to raise? Mm, game. You have issues. There are some issues still. See, there's the button. And then when I drag this all the way around, that button, okay, it's back. Fantastic. But despite the the complaints I have about this game and the slight criticisms. I mean, I still play it, so that's got to say something. Come on. There we go. Three. Got it. Kids should be free and adults pay triple. That's the real business strategy. 
That is not a bad strategy, actually. All right, let's get the uh, terrain figured out for these little Gemsbok. Um, they're not picky at all. They just want sand, all right? We're just going to have to give them some sand. And I believe that's because, yes, they are desert animals. All right, so let's give them a nice little desert uh, scene. In that case, let's make this a cute little oasis, all right? And then just the rest is going to be desert. So this will be an adorable little oasis. Uh, let's go ahead and get to Africa Desert and see what kind of oasis plants we can get them. Desert, there we go. So some of these palms. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be adorable, actually. The cool things here. Maybe some flowers. All right, there's our little oasis. And now let's get some sand dunes. Sand dunes, sand dunes. Gonna dune it up. Dune it up. Go big or go home with the sand dunes. There we go. Give me some sand dunes. Do, 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 dune town. Taking you down to dune town. There we go. Sandy, sandy, sandy. Um, yeah, and you know what? I'm going to just get the sand going in all of the crevasses over here as well. Here we go. I'm gonna shrink you down a little bit. There we go. Sand right up to the edge there. All right. You wanted sand, you got it. You asked for it, you got it. And maybe, you know what, just a little soil transition from the grass to the sand. There we go, perfect. Um. Last thing, there's probably some, like, desert trees. Yeah, like these Sudanese frankincense trees. Yeah, put these out in the desert areas. Um, why is that one laying on its side? <laughs> Try that one again. There we go. Get a tree down. Okay. Nice. There we go. Now, how's our Gemsbok like this? Oh, they don't have enough shelter because there are so many Gemsboks. So, you know what? Maybe a larger shelter is in order. Let's go ahead and swap this one out. Um... Gemsbok, shelter. They, they want the big old shelter. There we go. Go go with the big one. All right. Pop you down right there. That is a massive shelter. Um, in fact, so massive. It's kind of hanging off the edge there. I don't know how, I'm, how much I appreciate that. Let's sh shift it downwards a little bit. There we go. That'll probably fix the situation. Is that within the gate? Oh, God, now it's clipping outside of the gate, which shouldn't even be a thing. There we go. There we go. I think that, you know what? Good enough. Good enough. And, oh, God, I, like, put that right on top of a Gemsbok. Gemsbok! Gemsbok, you gotta move! Chopping your head off. Um, they have enough hard shelter. Perfect. Uh, last meal quality's a little low, but... You know what? Everything else is looking pretty good. Gemsbok, we're good. Gemsbok are good. So that's an adorable Gemsbok uh, area, by the way. I'm I'm digging it. Let's go ahead and flip all of the educational information to Gemsbok. There we go. People are digging these animals. There we go. And then... Of course, we don't want litterers, so we're going to have to go ahead and get down our trash cans and whatnot as well. Let's not forget the importance of the garbage cans. One here. One there. Plop, plop. 
garbage and recycling. Because we are eco-conscious. Cool. Um, trash cans have been placed. Benches have been plopped. We got another gift. We're getting gifts like nobody's freaking business over here. Cool. All right. That new area is done. So now we've got three of the four areas that we're going to put around this thing. Um, and still making money. And we haven't even had to take our first loan yet, which is pretty good. I'm um, very happy with the efficiency of our workers so far. Um, breed habitat species. Cool. So we bred a habitat species. Got a bonus for that. And let's check in on our staff to see if they're due for another promotion. And you know they are. Which means that they're going to get raises. There we go. Right, I'm going to build the next area over here. Um, before I do, I'm just going to check and see. Okay, my keeper's being a little overworked. Security guard. Vet's being a little overworked. Um, surprisingly, my mechanic is fine. So that's good to know. Uh, as they get better at their job, though, they will uh, be overworked less and less. All right, let's do our last little area over here where we'll probably put our... What kind of animals? Let's see. What do we still have in our storage area? Let's find out. Um, I think we have Nyala. And I feel like the Nyala will sort of fit the theme of, like, little deer-like animals, which is going to be this exhibit. So we'll probably put some Nyala over here. Let's go ahead and put our path down. Switch it to seven. There we go. One, two, whoop. That is not on snap. There we go. One, two, three. I think that's what we've been doing is going three and then placing the big one. Seven and boom. All right, circle time. How do you make a circle? Practice, practice, practice. Nice, nice, nice. Last path. Boom, boom. Boom. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Look at that. Look at that. So nice. So orderly. Gotta make the big paths now. Connect the whole thing. Connect the dots. It's all interconnected. Um, gonna need to move these benches. That I just paid for, and we're selling back at a fraction of the cost, but that's fine. These ones, too. There we go. Now that sort of completes the circuit of our area, right? I dig it. I'm into it. I like it. All right. Um, what do we got here? What's this warning? Ah, perfect. Research is complete. All right, that's step two. Three more to go. All right, let's build our... Next enclosure for our Nyala. Make sure it's on 10. It is. And... So basically what I'm thinking is... We can kind of keep the same model going. Which is... Um, build four exhibits. And... Have sort of like a work area between all of the exhibits. And I've kept two spots empty in our work area so that I can put down a new mechanic hut and a new keeper hut. So that basically we can split the workload between two sets of mechanics and workers there. And then I was thinking these areas can be concessions and exhibit areas. All right. So we put down this. Let's put down the barrier now. There we go. Let's put down some windows. And we are actually... We're making a decent amount of money already. I'm really happy with how quickly everything's coming together. Um, for those of you guys who missed the very beginning of this stream and my plan for this... So, what's different this stream... 
compared to last stream is that I've gone back to playing franchise mode, which is basically the online mode, which uh, allows you to sort of share a in-game economy with other players around the world. And within my franchise, I built five or six zoos. But franchise mode allows you to swap animals between your zoos within the franchise. So I've just consolidated all my animals from all my zoos into this zoo. And I'm just basically creating an ultimate zoo. This is going to be the new zoo. And let's get some uh, Neala Acoustromo. All right. Seems like the big habitat is the one that we're going to need to go for these days. Actually, wait. I say that, but let me just make sure. I'm not sure. One of these animals, and it may be the Nyala, are the ones that don't like a whole lot of animals. Let me see. How many Nyala is the amount of Nyala? Um, okay, one to five. Yeah, so they are going to need a large habitat. So I'll shell out for the big one. And I've got a bongo ready to pop out a baby. There we go. There's our big Nyala habitat. And let's get some food for them as well. Place you right there. Let's get some water for them as well. Rock. And... Smaller than that. Here's the deep end for swimming purposes. Okay, there's their water. And now let's start to move them Nyala's in. Um, ooh, vet research is complete. Let's go ahead and start to research a new animal. Gemsbach, there we go. All right, um, animal trading. I just sort by Nyala get them going. Okay, cool. Three females and a male, which is good, because hopefully they'll start making little baby Nyala very soon. Okay. Still quarantining them all, which, again, may be a little paranoid, but better safe than sorry. I have two gold Nyala, so hopefully we'll be making some very good babies. Any reason you're making things harder on yourself by keeping height snap uh, off for barriers? Oh, height snap is... Um, I haven't played around with that. Let me see. Um, I mean, height snap, that's just an option in here, right? Height snap. Oh, da doy. Wait, but that just sets the height movement tool to increase, decrease its specific values. Got it. I honestly, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. But that's going to be very helpful. There was not a specific reason. I was just uninformed. Uh, I just want to double check and make sure that our water is all in the water area. Yeah, it is. Some of it's kind of hanging out of the water area, but it's inside it. Good enough. Good enough. And while we're waiting for Nyala to get the um, approval, let's just go ahead and put down the rest of our facilities that we're going to need, huh? Our trash cans and whatnot. In a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, here comes the rain. Benches. Everybody loves a bench to sit on. Gemsbach are about to bait. Animals are mating all over the place. This is a real zoo of love. The love zoo. All right. Um, cool. Now we need the signs and we need the um, donation boxes and we good to go. Good. Let's get down some signs.
around. There we go. And it looks like our gems box are getting the bill of clean health. So once we plop down all of the donation bins, we good. We Gucci. There we go. Perfect. Sun just came out. Let's get our animals transferred now. Um, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. For Nayala. Incoming. Boom. Got it. All right. Dangerous animals escaped. Excuse me? Oh, geez. Okay. We had a wall break. Look at this, Bongo. What are you doing, Bongo? Get back inside. Okay. I need to hire another uh, mechanic, methinks. Because this mechanic just isn't getting the job done. All right, time to replace this wall. There we go. Um, that wall needs a window. And I can pay... Oh, two of them got out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm going to need to pay $2,000 to emergency capture these animals. There we go. Get them moved back in. All right. That's been taken care of. Whoo, that was, that was, that was dangerous. Um... Yeah, you know what? It's time to set you guys to check on these every six months, huh? Apparently, once a year just isn't going to cut it. Every six months. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get you help, my mechanic friend. All right. Every six months. And lastly, over here. Every six months. There we go. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that mechanic some help. And if I'm going to bring another mechanic in here, then I want them researching as well. So... I'm going to get another mechanic shop to plop down in this area now. This is why I kept these two spots empty. There we go. Mechanic area. And eventually I will put down a uh, another zookeeper hut too. Once it becomes obvious that we need another zookeeper. Okay. Mechanics down. All right. Second mechanic is in town now. Which means that we can get some mechanic research done. Um, Wade Varela. Wade, I'm going to have you do Africa themes. There we go. Okay. And... Wait, is there... Oh, God, you're still out? Jeez, Louise. Okay. There we go. Get you out of here. Um... All right. We good now? Call mechanic. Get that fixed up. Okay. So I think we're back on track now. That was uh, that was a little excitement, right? Um, okay, we've got the Nyalas moving in, right? Are they in? Good, they are. Let's just make sure that we get their habitat already. Um, they're not too picky when it comes to habitat. They just want a little bit more soil. And as far as the terrain goes, they like a tropical and grassland environment. Okay, let's give them a little tropical environment then. Let's give them a little bit more soil like they're asking for. And let's see, soil... I'm going to do some hills around the watering hole. You know what? It's on way too powerful there. That looks all sorts of wonky, but you can just take the smoothing tool and fix that. Smooth it on out. There we go. Um, that's about all the soil they need, honestly. Uh, let's just go ahead and... go. All right, getting some plants as well. So they like the grassland and tropical of Africa. So I'm just going to keep it tropical. There we go. I know I could do both, but I'm just going to build them a tropical theme to kind of go with what we've had here. Um, pop down a couple of coastal mangroves in here. There we go. <clears throat> and... Plants in here. There we go. Now, how about some bigger trees? Th not those ones, because those ones are ginormous. Um, I could do some more tamarind trees, or I could do some mangrove trees. Let's just do those. There we go. How do you like that? 
You like that pretty good, right? And as far as your habitat goes, you've got plenty of heart shelter. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we've successfully introduced another type of animal into our zoo. And we've got more dogs fighting. So I'm going to have to go check in on them. All right. Let's go check on our puppers. What's going on, puppies? Okay. This time it's females fighting, and I gotta be honest, um, with the females, we're just gonna have to let them fight. Um, looks like one of them got seriously injured from fighting, which is fine. Um, the vet has been called. With the females, so let me show you. I'm gonna go to the Zoopedia here and show you about these dogs. So, they do good in group size of 2 to 27, um, but 9 males and 9 females, there's alpha males and alpha females. So, I'm going to, if I want to have more than one female in here, I'm just going to let them need to fight for dominance. It's just going to be what they're going to have to do. Um, you found that the berries don't usually last the full year? Yeah, it's true, and I should have switched it to... Um, being maintained more often, honestly, earlier. Uh, yeah, so we know that they're fighting for alpha status, and we're just going to have to let them. That's just what we're going to do. Okay, so now that we've got our four um, areas, I say before we expand any farther, let's go ahead and um, beautify this area. Let's get some um, facilities going. Let's uh, get some promotions going real quick, because I know that we can start to promote some people. There we go. Many people think the tickets are underpriced, so we can go ahead and raise that. It's not really how we make all of our money, but you know what? I'm going to give the kids a discount now. There you go. A dollar off for kids. We can start to put in some uh, like food places, some drink places, some guest facilities. So let's do it. Let's do um, like a gold bee and a chief beef. All right. Actually, we'll do the gold bee and the chief beef towards the back end. Actually, no, we can do it in the front. We'll do... Oh, you know what I should do? I should turn on the heat map, though, and just make sure, okay, that it's plenty far enough away. And it is. They got lots of room. So I'll do a gulpy right there. And a cheap beef next to that gulpy. There we go. And... We'll want, like, an area for them to sit and eat. So I think I'm going to do a path, and I'm going to make it fun. This is going to be, like, the food court path, all right? That's what I'm going to call this, like, the type of path that we have here. The food court path. And let's see. Can I get that a little bit more centered? That's about as good as I'm going to get it, honestly. Um, ooh, that's actually kind of nice. And turn on the heat map. Perfect. Okay, so now I can make a little seating area for people. Let's do it. Do some benches for them to eat at. There we go. A little, little area for you guys to come and eat. There you go. Gemzok are fighting now, too, for alpha status. Okay. What's going on here with that Gemsbok? Is it two males? It is two males. Okay. I want there to only be one alpha. And let's see. Which one of you is going to have to go? Which one's older? You're 3.5. You're 1.9. Okay, so you're both relatively young. Um, yeah, I think you're going to have to go, Zikomo. All right. I'm going to send you to the trading. There we go. Zikomo. Gone. Okay, so we've got our little eating area there. We should probably have a uh, ATM machine so they can draw up money if they need to. There we go. Put one here and put one there. There we go. So that's going to be the eating area. Then we're going to do a, um, where is it? An info center. There we go. There's our Planet Zoo info center, which I will put right over here. And we're going to definitely need a bathroom. People are going to need a place to use the potty. So I'll put down a bathroom here. And we'll call that good for now. We've got 
the beginnings of some places for people to eat and stuff. Uh, we'll put up some walls to block out the um, ugliness of these facilities. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to play around with the construction a little bit. So construction, I'm going to go with uh, architecture, go walls, and then there's columns. Okay, I'm going to do some 8 meter beams. There we go. Beams on the corners. And I'm going to build a roof over this thing is what I'm going to do. What's this here? There's more animal. Oh, it's the same ones fighting for health status. All right. That's just going to have to happen. Uh, let's go to roofs. Roofs, roofs. I kind of, something about these slatted roofs here appeals to me. So I'm going to use these. And let's bring you up. Rotate you around. There we go. And let's just line you up as best as I can on this thing. Let's go like that. Okay. And go. was a, a little off there, Rick. You were a little off. There we go. Okay. And... Okay. Now we just gotta make sure that this whole thing moves right where it needs to go. About right. Needs to go over a little bit more. And we can fine tune it though. I just need to move these uh, these sticks, I think, is the problem. We can do. I think I can actually build them. Yeah, let's build them inside. There we go. And honestly, these are just for aesthetics. That roof will totally float there without those, but there we go, okay. So now we've got that, and then let's build um, like a shrubbery around it to hide the uh, ugliness of it. I need to do like five meters, six meters? Let's try five. We'll do a, a five meter wall. Be there? I don't even know how you got there. There we are. Oh, come on, you. Hey! BPD Gaming Lol just resubbed for seven months and said, Hey, sorry I didn't sub for the last couple months. Hope you all doing well. It's all good. We're doing great. Thanks for subbing. All right. We appreciate it. Any help is uh, a big help to us. Guys, drop some bears for BPD gaming lol. All right. I'm almost done here. Um, now let's just curve and finish this thing off. Come on. Remember my curve selection. There we go. Another um, minor criticism. I wish that it would remember my settings. And just keep it on curved. 
the entire time. But there we go. There's our um, little curved paths there and our curved uh, buildings. And then I know it's going to be about 11 meters because we actually measured this earlier. And let's take off snapping. Is that really too close to this? Yeah, that's annoying. There we go. Do it like that way then. There we go. And... Very nice. I'm very happy with the way this whole thing is coming together. That one can actually be a little bit farther back, though, right? I feel. There we go. Cool. All right. So there's our area. And lastly, I want to raise the walls as well. There we go. There's that height snap. That is actually working pretty well. Only it's raising it by 1.10, which is a little strange. Because um, height snap says 1 meter, but it's at 2 meter, and then I raise it, and it's at 310, 420, 530. So it's actually raising it by 1.1 meters, which seems odd to me. But there we go. There's our little hidden um, facilities area. I like it, and we've got those two areas there, which means that now we just need to spruce it up with uh, some some stuff to pretty it up. Um, is this still just my puppies fighting? It is still just my puppy fighting. That's fine. That research has been complete. So let's go ahead and get us some new research going. Uh, we've researched everything but the bongos, and then mechanic research. Oh, we've got to be getting close now. There we go. Two more times researching, and then we'll have those one-way... Um, barriers. Alright, so nature. First thing I'm going to do is place rocks, and then I can build um, some stuff around the rocks, so I'm just going to start placing some interesting looking rocks around. Just uh, make the place look neat. There we go. about this one and eh, that would just look too too great um that's too big massive okay There you go. Big old boulder. Cool. All right. Um, oh, we need a few over here as well. Okay. There we go. There's the rocks. And what do we got? God, I keep checking the animal spotting group. Alpha status. I wish there was a way just to clear that and say, like, remind me in 10 minutes. Wow, you just finished researching Naela's really fast. Wow. Okay. Um, we'll let you go to research level two on that. That's fine. Rick, if you want, you can place stuff like flowers on walls to look prettier and save space. Yes, 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 yes. Um, there are like little pots and stuff you can hang. I've, I've seen those. Okay. I'm going to do, I want to go with like a tropical theme. So I think I'm just going to go with Africa tropical and sort of spruce this place up based off of Africa tropical themes. So like some palm trees and stuff over here. Um, another palm. I like these bendy palm trees. These are real fun. Fun and bendy. Bendy. There we go. What other kind of 
Oh, the tamarind tree is very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, we have some big trees, right? Like these kapok trees? Yes. Like, we're not going to do anything in this space back here. Let's put some of these massive trees in here. Those are really cool. All right, this place is already looking so much better. All right. Do a kapok tree on, like, every corner. Okay. Stop being sideways. There we go. Oh. Actually, maybe not that one. Um, here we go. Let's just copy you and paste you there. There we go. Cool. Um, not quite done, though. We've still got plenty of stuff to place. So, like these little guys around the place. They keep on tipping over sideways. What are you doing? Why, why are you doing this to me? There we go. Weird little plants. All right. Almost there. Little guys around the place. Alright, I think that's good enough for now. We, we can put more plants in, and there's plenty of space to put more plants in. But that'll do for now. Um, now that we got the place spruced up a bit, we've got some facilities. we got bathrooms. we got places to get food. we got an information center. We'll keep these areas open for... Um, some, oh, actually, actually, I was going to say some, um, whatcha who's it? Some, uh, uh, exhibits. And I actually do have a couple of exhibit animals that I've moved over from my other places that I can put in here. So I'm moving these plants here because we're going to put down some exhibits. That's what these areas are going to be. They're going to be our exhibit areas. So if I go facilities and I go exhibits, we need to place a couple of new exhibits. But this will this will be rad. Okay, I can put down a exhibit here, and then um, I don't want it to be you no know, get off of the grid. I need to delete this path. There we go. Oh my god, get off the grid! I don't want it grouping. Maybe catty corner would be better? What if I did a catty corner like this? And then I did the same thing over here. That could be cool if the paths worked properly. But the paths aren't. Okay, how do I get it to not select a grid? I don't want it to snap to grid. And honestly, I feel like there's not a way to do that. I want to place this one, and then I want to place the other one and not have them, like, want to be on the same grid. Like, close that, and then... Uh, see, what's annoying is that it automatically creates a path, and then I delete the path, and the path messes with... Ugh. Okay, this is just me, I think, trying to be a perfectionist. Oh, God. Stop. Stop being on a grid. I don't... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That'll do. Okay. There we go. I think we finally figured it out. You can exit grids with the button behind your face. No, I, I realize that. Um, but I wish that it wouldn't default to going to the grid. Okay. So there we go. We've got two exhibits. And I do have two animals that I can move in here. Uh, that I brought over. Didn't I? Wait a minute. I could have sworn I did. I don't have any sort of animals right now. Um, that's interesting. I'm pretty certain I moved animals into the exhibit. Um. Alright. 
You know what, though? Exhibit animals, I think, are pretty affordable. Yeah, I can buy them. They're pretty dang affordable. So I can buy, like, this Western Diamondback and... I guess we'll just go and buy some of these animals. So this one's pretty good. This adder. And we've got some tarantulas as well. Actually, those tarantulas are pretty good. So here, I'll just go ahead and buy some new exhibit animals. I, I thought I had transferred exhibit animals from my other place, but apparently not. So no big deal. We'll make it work. Just got to find some good animals worth showing off. Um... There's not a female of those desert scorpions. Ooh, but we do have these death adders that are pretty good. So I'll adopt a couple of those. There we go. Okay, so we've got our animals. And with exhibit animals, we don't need to uh, quarantine them. We can just send them straight in. There we go. We've got our exhibit animals, and then we're going to just want to get some facilities up so people know a thing or two about these animals. So let's snap. Oh, come on. Snap you, and snap you, and you, and you. There we go. Okay. So this is an easy way to make some money with these little guys that are pretty affordable. There we go. Okay, so we've got our little exhibit area, and we can go ahead and spruce up the area with some nature. Cool, there we go. We've got ourselves, and then we'll do the same thing over here, eventually. Um, ooh, what's going on with my Nihal over here? Um, why are you guys so hungry? Okay, you just got fed, so that's going to be taken care of. A lot of my Nihal were hungry. Um, over here, we've got, looks like some animals fighting for alpha status, yep. We've got a couple of Gemsbox going at it. Okay, a couple of male Gemsbox fighting for alpha status, huh? Okay. I think I'm going to send you away, buddy. All right? Yeah. We're going to send a Johnny away. All right, a Johnny. You got to go. To the Trade Center. All right. Wait, and then two just immediately started fighting. How many males do I have in here right now? Good God. Just one other male just challenging for alpha status. Um, okay. Are those females challenging for alpha status? No, that's a male. Okay, there's four males. Okay, I'm only seeing these two at the moment. Where are the other ones? One, two, three female. One male, two male. One female. Why won't it scroll down farther? It won't scroll any farther for me to check out the other animals. Oh, there... Oh, there we go. It's this scroll bar. There's a scroll bar within a scroll bar. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, we have a bunch of males in here. Um, this one here... Let's see. As a matter of fact, it'd be easier if I just looked at my animals in this menu... All right, we've got bongos researched. Um, let's start researching our little critters now. And let's see, animals. All right, let's sort by species and gemsbok. Okay, so we've got a bunch of males, and I'm just going to look at their stats this way. So, wow, 66 across the board. I should just call you old 66. Um, this one over here, ooh, you are bad. Um, but I think you are a babby, so I'm going to have to send you away, but you are not a good babby. Bad Babby. Um, this one over here is already in the Trade Center. And then we have uh, this one, Adebayo, who, yeah, you're not as good as the other 66, buddy. So I'm going to have to send you away. All right, so Adebayo, um, send to Trade Center. Yep. Oh, Trade Center's full. Oh. Okay. 
We gotta get rid of some of these animals in the trade center. Uh, animal trade. Oh, you know what? It's sorting by species. There we go. Filter. And... Okay, we need to make our shared exhibit. That's going to be what we do next. As soon as I get rid of some of these animals. Then we'll get these Japanese macaw up in this place. Oh, we still got some okapi to put in this place. Um, some ring-tailed lemurs and some springbok. But right now, where's the gemsbok that are in here? Gemsbok. There we go. There's the two. So let's go ahead and... Release these two. I'm just going to release them into the wild. They're not great Gemsbok, to be honest. And... Trading. All right, the last Gemsbok. This one... I mean, this one's okay. You know what? I'm going to put you on the Trade Center. I'm going to list you for 50. All right, there we go. But you, old man, are going to have to go. So there we go. Into the trade center with you. And that old man, we're just going to get rid of. Um, yeah. Auto bio. You just got to go. Release into the wild. Okay. And my Nyala are inbreeding. That's not good. Should probably not inbreed. So you know what? Um, you. Contraception. There you go. No inbred babies for you. Research is done. Okay, one more time to research before we have our one-way glass, which is great. And let's slow things down a little bit now. Now I think my only fighting is still with my females. Challenging for alpha. Actually, is it my females or is it my males? that are? I, I, I don't think I have enough males in here to challenge for... Oh, maybe I do, actually. This one seems to have grown up. Okay, so... It is time to send one of these males away. So Dabber and Bomani are both gold. By the way, okay, look at these stats. These stats are incredible. Um, so I'm going to send you away here. Uh, this is Dabber. But my goodness, Bomani has amazing stats. Dabber's stats are pretty good, though. And let's note that they are gold. Because I'm going to... You know what? I'm just going to straight up... I'm just going to release you into the wild. There we go. I got 72. I was going to put him in the Trade Center, but then I realized the Trade Center is full at the moment. So that's not going to do us any good. All right, so there we go. We've got our first little four circles there going, right? But now we're going to do our um, shared animal exhibit area. And where are we going to put that? I'm going to start to modify the terrain. I'm going to drop the terrain down a little bit just to make it interesting. And I think this area here is where we're going to do our shared animal exhibit. And just to make it neat, to give our zoo some character, I'm going to plunge down and then start flattening out the terrain. There we go. Sort of give our zoo a tiered sort of a look and feel. Dig it way out, all the way to the edges, as far as I can. There we go. Just really terraforming the crap out of this place. There we go. And it looks like crap right now, but we can smooth it out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to smooth it out. There we go. Cool. And then, yeah, like I said, smooth it out. Smooth out the edges. Way set in there. Starting to look better. The sound effects of the uh, terraforming is a bit unnerving. <laughs> a little bit. It's it's a strange sound. It can be, without context. Okay. 
And then all around here too. Let's smooth it out. Oh, that's looking better already. Okay, cool. So that's our little terraform area. And then we're going to need a way to get down to this area. So I'm going to try to build a path. And hopefully this will play well with us. Um, it's going to be a big path. A big old path going right down to the middle. Actually, can I just make it go down? Ooh, it's going to look all weird. Um, no, don't do that. Let's bring you back up. There we go. Can I get you more into the middle? There we go. Oh, ooh. It's trying to turn, and I don't know why. Oh, you know what? Put on snap. There we go. Stop trying to turn, damn it. Stay straight. There we go. So, a nice, gentle slope going down to the next area. That's perfect. There we go. I want to make it ADA compliant. A nice slope for people to walk down, and then we'll probably put a slope down there as well. Let's go ahead and start to make some paths now. So I'm going to bring this back to seven. And this is where I'm going to change up the shape of stuff. So I'm going to keep the theme of sort of circular areas. But I'm going to make this an oval area. Big old oval. Which I'm going to need to shorten up just a little bit. just made that turn. There we go. Let's keep on. Actually, you know what? Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm sorry. I want to fix this here. You know what? I think we're just going to go with seven. Oh my god. Ah! wish that I could place it just like that. I need it to be a little shorter. You know what I mean? I need the ramp to be a little shorter, that is. Could put stairs, but then... You know what? I said I was going to be ADA compliant. But... There we go. I needed to make it a little shorter. Um... I will put a ramp on this side, and then people who need wheelchair accessibility can get in over there. But what I wanted to do was make it a little shorter on this end, so I can get it a little bit closer. There we go. To that wall. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. I just wanted it to fit a little bit better into the zoo. Just made that turn too. Okay, that's way better. That's way better. And then zoom all the way across here. All right. Lined up pretty good over there. Let's go back one. There we go. There it is. Okay, so that's going to be our shared exhibit area down here. And like I said, I'm going to make a ramp for people over here. So let's make a ramp. I'm a man of my word. Okay. Up. Come on. Up. There we go. And... Oh, shucks. Come on. Okay, we need to start farther back. It's okay. We're going to get this. I know technically this game doesn't make you put in wheelchair accessibility, but it should. I think it's important. It's an important thing to have wheelchair accessibility for people at your park. By the way, I don't think I've seen a single person at this park who's in a wheelchair, which is strange to me.
There we go. There it is. There it is. Awesome. All right. You can make the wooden barriers curved by placing a different type of barrier, glass or brick, for example, as a curved structure first, and then editing the barrier. Okay, yeah, that's a nice little trick. Uh, Space Geisha, thank you for those 28 months in a row. What a lovely game. I agree. It's just a game that I can't get enough of. Uh, you guys drop some bears for Space Geisha. All right, so there is going to be our shared uh, animal area. I want to look at the water availability. Okay, we're going to need to put water in here. And then we're going to need to put power down here as well. And perfect. Okay, that power gives us an idea of where we're going to need our power station. So the power station I'm going to put on the back end. I'm going to put everything that we need on the back end, as a matter of fact. But first, let's go ahead and start to build our barriers. So the barriers, I'm going to start on the edge here. Make sure that they are 10 meters long. And okay, take off snapping. Yeah, so this area is going to be ginormous, but like I said, it's going to be our shared animal exhibit. So we're going to have a ton of animals in here. So having it be ginormous is understandable realize we're going to be keeping a lot of animals in here. And then I'm going to keep it open on that end because that's where we're going to keep all of our stuff. All of our keeper stuff and whatnot. And we've got so many animals in our trade center that can go in this area. So we'll be able to fill this thing up real fast. I've kind of taken to using these kind of walls, too. They just kind of fit with the Africa aesthetic, I feel. Okay. And put a five-footer there and a five-footer there. Okay. And up and... Okay. Okay. So there we go. Like I said, I'm going to build our water and power and stuff over here. So let's go ahead and do some paths. And you know what? These walls may be a little bit too far out there. Far out, man. Um, this little center, though, it's not going to need to be as elaborate as the one we built up top. It's just going to need to have a area for power an area for water, and an area for um, maintenance. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build like that, and let's finish walling it off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to redo these walls real quick, just make them the proper length. So we said five meters. I think seven is probably more adequate. Yep, seven's perfect, actually. So seven meters, and then seven meters across that way. Um, yo. Um, excuse me. Go to two meters then. There we go. Okay. That'll do. So that's going to be our area where we have our workers do their work business and let's just go ahead and raise this up to 310 I guess because that's the new setting um, okay and then we're going to put a barrier down and this one should be plenty big this one's so big I want to have just like a dedicated staff just working on this like a 
mechanic and a keeper just dedicated to this area, which is why I want to have a dedicated keeper and mechanic hut down here. So let's go ahead and go facilities and staff facilities. Uh, actually, utilities first. So we're going to need power down here. We're going to need water. Um, water, let's do... Actually, let's... Let's do our staff facilities first. So we'll do a keeper hut right on the edge. And I'm going to put the water between the keeper hut and the mechanic hut. So let's do... There we go. Mechanic hut there and... First I'll do the water. I want to butt it up just as close as possible. There we go. Then I'll do the power. Perfect, which leaves us one square there, which hopefully our mechanic hut will fit into now. If I can get it just right. There we go. Mechanic hut. Can I get you to grip onto? There we go. Perfect. Uh, Elena X just dropped 100 bits and said, just drop and buy to say hello. Super stoked for Stump Miss. Thanks for all your guys' hard work putting it all together. Can't wait to donate for a good cause. I can't wait either. Thank you so much, Lana. Or Elena, excuse me. You guys drop some bears. Um, so there we go. We've got our keeper huts there. Um, beautiful. And let's just make sure that it's not interfering with the paths. It kind of is, just barely. Uh, thank you to Sergeant Slaughter for that brand new sub. Thank you, Sergeant Slaughter. Drop some bears. Awesome. Uh, and also from Ashley Cramony dropping 100 bits. Appreciate it. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's our area. Um, we're going to need windows, right? So I start plopping them in. Plopping them in. There we go. Time to plop. Oh, come on. Plop. Um, just do one right there. Just one. Because I want to sort of mirror these, you know? What's happening on this side to what's happening on that side. There we go. And this will be a privacy area back here. We don't need windows back there. Okay, so there is our area. And as far as the size goes, this thing is 4,108 meters squared. So that is going to have more than enough area for our animals to stay happy. Um, that's the water area. And you can see that power area. Um, pretty much all of our zoo has power now, which is incredible. Um, animals are fighting for alpha status. It is certainly some... Which ones is it? Is it my females or is it my males? Because I thought I'd taken care of my male situation here. Yeah, I only have one male, so it's females fighting. That's fine. Um, okay, let's get our water situation taken care of here. And we can actually make a fun little water area because we have so much space to play here. So I'm going to go rock and push. Let's go lighten it to like five. There we go. And is that on rock? It is on rock, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, we can make a pretty significant watering hole area, actually. We can even make, like, a little, like, river kind of a thing if we wanted to. Okay, um, now let's smooth it out a little bit. Go big. Oh, that's too big. Okay, there we go. That's our fun little water area. Um, as far as what they're going to need once they get in here, I have no idea. So I think we're just going to start putting the animals in here. But first I want to make sure that we have the help that we're going to need. So I'm going to hire a couple other people on to help us out. Uh, let's go to our zoo, and I'm going to hire one mechanic and one more um, one more keeper. All right, so keeper hired, and mechanic hired. Okay. And then we're going to need to put all of our facilities in, so let's go with uh, 
our donation boxes. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Yeah, this, this thing is so big. I don't want to risk anything going wrong with it. So, whoa, 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 whoa. I just noticed that these trees are just hovering in midair. We gotta move you guys. Get out of here, you weirdo trees. You weird hover trees. It's a neat trick, but get out of here. There we go. <laughs> That's better. That was weird. Okay. On with the show. Plop down the boxes. Then, of course, trash cans and all that accoutrement that we're going to need down here as well. So we don't get a littering problem. It's really annoying when you get a littering problem. Okay. And honestly, this park is operating like a well-oiled machine at this point. I'm pretty satisfied with the way things are turning out. We're probably going to operate at a little bit of a loss here for a minute until we um, get the animals into this enclosure. Because we did hire new staff that we're not really using just yet, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. All the way around. I can't place you there. That's fine. Place one here. Two there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Plenty of places for people to do things there. Oh, the last thing we need is facilities is um, some signage, right? We need to get these down. And we're going to need plenty of them. The other side. Almost done. Last one we need to place. All the way around. There we go. Cool. Um, we're set. Let's go start to get some animals transferred over here. We're going to want to move our... We've got so many species that we can put in here, actually. So many. Um, all the black wildebeest can go in here. All my black wildebeest aren't the greatest. I'll be real. They're all pretty crappy, um, to be frank. But, you know... They'll work. So black wildebeest can go in there. Um, and honestly, we only need one male wildebeest. The other one we can we can let loose. Uh, which one's better? That one's the better one. So we'll move you in. There we go. The other one we can just send on its happy little way. So quick trade. There we go. You're out of here, bud. Um, all of our ostriches, our cute little ostriches, can move into there. We got a good ostrich here. And these ones, I believe, they're little babies. They're not the best little ostriches, but I got to take them with us because they're little babies. There we go. Little Razzie. And, oh, I just realized that the game isn't running. Okay, a lot of little warthogs, too. We're going to get so many animals in here. Business is going to pick up so quickly.
Our zoo people are going to be very busy for a moment. Okay. I'm going to exit out of there. There we go. Just get the game running so that they can actually start to move my animals into here. Uh, okay, so we got through all of the warthogs. Um, the next page, we've got Springbok that can go in here as well. Um, oh, we got a couple more warthogs that can go in there too. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to that. The Okapi, we need to get them an exhibit here soon. Um, the Springbok. Yeah, I think I could just filter by Springbok. That'd probably be easier for the purposes of this. Um, protesters. Oh, excuse me. Um, where were, where are protesters? Um, and why? Um. Where are the protesters? Where are the protesters? That is surprising to me. Okay. Well, we're going to need to get that figured out soon. Where the hell are the protesters coming from? What? Okay. Um. <laughs> That 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 annoys me. Thank you to Elun uh, or Eluneb Wivu. Am I saying that right, Eluneb Wivu, for your 12 months in a row? Oh my God, a year already. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm glad you are. Um, oh man, I really want to figure out where these protesters are, um, and why they're protesting. And also, ooh, that's unsightly. I'm gonna need to fix that. That's. That is gross. Um, let's fix that real quick, because that's going to bother the heck out of me. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. Gross grass. Ugh, sticking out of there. Ugh. I think it's from when I terraformed. There we go. Get rid of that grass. The terraform uses long grass instead of short grass. Um, Elune. Be with you. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. I wanted to be sure. Um... I'm searching around my park just to see if I see protesters, because I don't know where the hell they are. Um, no protesters there. Are they protesting my dogs because they've been battling for alpha status? If that's the case, I'm going to be bummed. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, animals are moving in. Let's just make sure that their welfare is taken care of. So... Let's see, we've got, need some soil, we need more short grass, not so much long grass. Okay, we can, we can do this. Uh, terrain time. Soil. Let's do a little sculpting. A little easier if it were daytime. Gotta wait for that sun to come up. Where the hell's the sun, by the way? Come on, sun. Come out. Come out and play. Uh, so need more short grass. Okay. Um, a little rock would be good. So let's do... Rocky Ridge over here. Why not? There we go. That's a little bit too much rock, though. We can replace some of that with some soil. Honestly, this would be a lot easier if the sun were out. Like, come on, sun. Where are you? Doing this in the dark is very difficult. Where are the protesters? Oh, it's the freaking animals over here. Oh... Like, if you're going to tell me I'm being fine for protesting, tell me where the protesters are. Jeez. Because there were no animals that were, like, low welfare except for these guys. Okay. They don't have ideal temperatures. That's why. Son of a gun. Okay.
Okay. Humidity's good. Okay, temperature's good. What about you guys now? Um, probably have better humidity. Let's crank that up a little bit. Temperature. Wow, the temperature is very specific here. Okay, there we go. Damn, protesters. If you're going to protest, tell me why you're protesting, and then I'll try to help you out. We'll try to find some common ground. You know what I mean? Is that the right spot? My God. There we go. Perfect? Perfect. Okay. So I think we're good now. Um, what did I just get? Increase the average exhibit species welfare to 66%. See? We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. And you're still fighting for status. Okay. Um, but seriously, son, come up. I want it to be daytime so bad. Oh, for the love of God. Like, seriously. Where's the sun? I've got it fast-forwarding like mad. There, finally. Okay, I need to set the time of operations so that the sun doesn't go down like this again. Um, let's see. Yeah, that nighttime is way too long. Let's do the time of operations. Yeah, it's up until like 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to drop... Hello. Um... Will it not let me change the time? Um, that's interesting. Can I not change the operating hours? Maybe it won't let me in franchise mode. That's interesting. Huh. Real weird. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Um, weird stuff. Okay, terrain. Now we've got ourselves a little baby black wildebeest in here. Um, you need a hard shelter and you need way more short grass. Got it. So, nobody likes the long grass. I don't blame you. Long grass is dumb. Short grass, it is. Let's get you guys some more short grass in here. Okay. You happy now? Perfect. And as far as plant coverage goes, you're going to need some grassland plant coverage. We can do that. Let's do it. There's a Reddit post saying it's a bug with the newest update. The devs are asking people with the issue to submit a support ticket. Oh, really? Okay, maybe can I submit a... How do I submit a report ticket? Because um, I, would, I would like to do that. We'll figure that out later. I will submit a report ticket. I will be a good steward of video games um but before i do that let's just get the nature out of the way huh africa and grassland okay so we could probably fit some real big trees in here if we wanted to um is that really all the africa plant life i i thought okay there we go there's the baobab trees let's do some of those some big old trees in here I'm gonna do a few of these All the big old trees. Actually, I'm going to move you. There we go, right there. And then the last one. And you know what? I want to have my terrain open for these guys. So I can actually see the plant coverage. Okay, the only one that I haven't used is this little stubby one. There you go, little stubby. Um, get some candelabra trees going over here in the corner. Some of these pretties over here. And one over there. Okay, now we just need some plants around the water. Flowers. Ooh, pretty flowers. And 
and what else? What else? What else? Um, got the candelabras. We've got the so these marula trees. Um, I think we're... Wait, do, do we have too much plant coverage now? Hmm. Or is there not enough? Okay. Why is coverage red, but plants... Oh, it's the appropriate types. Okay. Um. Hmm. So you need more coverage. Okay. All right. What can we put down? I mean, I can do more of these boabab trees. Which should help coverage. Cons wait, actually, wait, what? Hmm. I'm being confused. When I'm putting down the plants, plants is going down. Hmm. What? Why is it going down? Why is coverage... I'm so confused by this. Um, maybe it's because I have too many of these big trees. Maybe. Let's see. I'm being, I'm being confused by this here. Um, plants 100%. Okay, but I need more coverage. Okay. Maybe some more reeds. Okay. They want more diversity, but now I'm down to, like, these tiny little plants. It's gonna take forever to get coverage with these little guys. Got these umbrella thorns. Maybe these. Oh my god, seriously! Very confused about this coverage versus plants thing. Plant types and coverage is appropriate for this animal. Um, it's not though, because coverage is not appropriate. It's in the red. Habitat. Um, you know what? The habitat plants is fine. It's for whatever reason. Okay, it's it's fine. Uh, whatever reason, coverage is in the red, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, they need some. Uh... Oh, I could terraform a cave, and I've done that before. Terraforming caves is fun. I need to get down some structures for these guys, though. Okay, so we need to get a... I know ostriches just want um, beds of hay. And let's see, the... It's wildebeest that I have in here, right? The black wildebeest, yes. Wildebeest, um, let's give you a big feeder here. And let's see, you're going to need a hard shelter, right? Yes, you like hard shelters. Let's give you a big old hard shelter. And I will put this one. Let's see, where should I place this one? This is ginormous. I'm gonna place a ginormous shelter in the middle of the park, okay? Right here. Do some beds of hay inside. Okay, ginormous shelter. There we go. You're happy with that hard shelter, perfect. Uh, now the ostriches, they just like beds of hay as their beds. So yeah, their hard shelter thing is taken care of. Plants is at 0%. So... I don't understand what's happening with the plants, to be quite honest. Like, how is it possible that you're at 0%? I don't understand how that's even possible. And if I look at the Zoopedia, I'm almost positive that these guys can be blended with, um, yeah, Black Wildebeest. So, like, they can totally be blended with Black Wildebeest. Why is it that you aren't happy with the plant coverage? Doesn't make sense to me. Um, let's see.
severely inappropriate for this animal. How even? I'm going to start deleting stuff and see if it goes up. Oh my god, stay on here, please. Um, nature. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to delete one of these trees. Delete this one. Delete this one. Okay. Plant's 100%. Now it's 100%. Okay. Let's check in with my wildebeest now. 100%. Okay. There. There. Okay. Apparently that's... There was too many plants. They didn't like how many plants there were. There were just too many damn plants. Okay. And that's fine. I think that we've figured out a solution. So I just need to redistribute the plants that we have. Okay. There we go. Um, habitat... Ostrich food. Let's give you guys a big dish over here as well. And... Okay, we've got warthogs that are going to move in as well. So let's make sure that the warthogs are taken care of properly. Warthogs can eat from the same tray. That's perfect. Um, the shelter. We're going to need to get a big old warthog shelter though for you guys. And I'm going to have you guys live back here. There we go. That's where our warthogs are going to live. Okay, and then we're going to move Springbok in as well. Okay, many guests think the tickets are underpriced. I'm going to bump it up to 10 and $9, respectively. Okay. And you know what? I think that we're going to need another break room here, too. I've only got the one break room, and I'm pretty sure that we have way too many employees. So, I'm probably going to want... I'm Just for the time being... I'm going to plop down a break room um, just over here. This isn't going to be where it's going to live permanently, but it's going to be where it's going to live for now. There we go. Just to make sure that... Because I keep getting this little indicator that pops up and goes away, which is so annoying. And this happens from time to time. I'm trying to pause the game so I can actually see what's trying to happen here. You guys trying to inbreed? Okay, good. You, you have birth control. You're fine. You can't inbreed. Okay, is that is that thing gonna pop up again? No pop-ups? Okay, good. So weird. Um, okay, a warthog has arrived. A little baby warthog. Cute. Um, terrain looks good. Plant coverage is fine. Even though it's in the red, which scares me, but it says plants 100 percent so it's good. Um, hard shelter's good. We have a food dish for it. So that should be good. Um, animal trading. Let's see. We got to make sure our spring box are in here, right? So let's get all of our spring box in. And I think that we have quite a few spring box to put in here, if I remember correctly. There we go. Yep, there's all of our spring box. So move you in. And there's. Oh my god, there's that pop up again. Do it. Oh. What is it that's causing that? Oh my god, you're driving me absolutely bananas. I'm trying to pause the game when it pops in so I can see what the alert is. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you're, you're going to drive me out of my mind, game. All right, I'm going to save and exit the main menu and try to come back because that is super annoying. This game, this game has bugs. It's like the game just momentarily thinks there's an issue with one of my workers. And then it's like, nope, it's fine. Eh, nope, it's fine. And it keeps on doing that. It doesn't know quite what to do. Okay. Don't give me any more crap, game. Okay. So we're back now. Are we still getting that little pop-up? Get all my animals in here swimming. I am still getting that little freaking pop-up!
Any guys still think the tickets are underpriced, huh? Okay. 11 and 10? What do you think about that? Like, most, most of the time when this happens, because this has happened before, I can usually pause the game and then catch the alert. And then find out what the issue is. Because sometimes, like, somebody's stuck in the ground or something. Stupid like that. And you have to resolve it. We are getting some litter over here. Is it litter? Maybe it's a litter warning. Possibly. I'm going to put down some fl some uh, facilities. And maybe fix the issue. Let's see. There we go. Maybe, maybe that's what it was. Who knows? All right, let's fast forward. Maybe it has to do with my animals being taken around. Hmm. I really thought that it was being caused by... Ooh, is that... Was that barriers completed? Barriers is completed. Awesome. Um, so let's get William Yates researching... Let's go power, and then we'll have Sean Masters research um, souvenir shops. There we go. Bongo's about to inbreed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's give you guys birth control as well. There we go. No inbreeding for you, young lady. Okay. More mechanics research is completed. First... Part of Africa research is done. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Um, I think we've gotten all of the animals moved in now. I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and start to promote some people here. We still got to get our spring box put in. It's a lot of work hauling all these animals into this new area. Um, let's train all my vendors who are being tragically overworked. Um, by the way, my... Mechanics being overworked, and it's only because they're not very good at their job yet. So once they learn the job, they'll get a little bit better. Um, okay, spring box, let's get you inside. I think that that issue has finally resolved itself. So hopefully we won't be getting that weird bug with the game anymore. Um, let's see, my animals. Spring box, here we go. Let's move you in and... in okay what's this um oh animal stressed okay well perfect we can actually do the one-way glass now so i can resolve these stress issues so let's go one-way glass there we go just replace all glass with the one-way glass there's no real reason why all my glass shouldn't be one way to help Alleviate the stress of my animals. Sometimes that happens and you have to flip it around. There we go. The game really should be able to determine what's inside and what's outside. It knows which uh, side is inside and outside based on where the barrier door is placed. So I don't understand that about this game. Quite honestly. Uh, one way. And when this happens too, when like one of them is one way and one of them is the other way. Very strange. Very strange game. And is that it? I think. No, this is the last bit of class that we need to change here on this exhibit. There we go, so... Okay, that's all one way, that's all one way. Um, we're spending money to do this, but I think it's worth it. It's an investment. Okay, flip you around. There we go. Go. You too. There we go, and... We're... Just past halfway on replacing all of these windows. Okay. This exhibit here. And this one here. And you here. 
No more stressed animals. The inspector should be very happy with us. Um, which one didn't I replace? This one? Yes, okay. Okay, so all of them... Wait. Have they all been replaced? Yes. They've all been replaced, and... Okay, you're not replaced yet, are you? Okay. I could just go all the way around with these exhibits if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Okay. And that one's done. I think it's just... Whoops, excuse me. Excuse... No, 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 no. God dang it. Um, there we go. Wait, why is it concrete? What's going on, game? Come on. There we go. Okay, you've been replaced. You've been replaced. You've been replaced. And... Okay, that's it. That's all of them. All of them are done. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, finally. All right. So... You're social. No, you're stressed. Okay, but you're coming up now. Okay, there we go. The windows are helping. Why are you still stressed? You shouldn't be stressed. You shouldn't be stressed because I have all of the windows tinted now. So how are you getting so stressed? Bird. You should not be stressed. Liar. Do I need to make these walls higher? Maybe. Let's make the walls higher. Things I do to help these ostriches, I swear. There you go. Higher walls. Is that going to help you? The Springbok are unhappy as well. What's going on with you? You are also stressed. What is causing you guys so much stress? How? Okay, getting better? Okay, good. Jeez game. Um, and we've got some warthogs fighting for alpha status that we've got to get rid of. Okay. Warthogs. Yeah, I've got too many males in here, I'm sure. Um, let's take a look at our warthogs here. We've got three. Okay. Oh, it's actually... No, those are my wildebeest. Never mind. Warthogs. Here we go. We've got four in here. Two males, two females. Okay, one of these males must have just grown up because they were a baby when I first brought them in. Let's see. Not you. Um, the other male. Okay. Actually, no. Okay, we just have two males. Which one's the better? Okay, I'm going to send you away. Little buddy. All right. Release you into the wild. There we go. Okay, so that should resolve that issue. And this habitat's not getting cleaned. Okay, we need to create some um, some work orders. Okay, let's start to order some work. So we have three sets of people that can work now. So I'm going to do one set of people here, one set of people here, one set of people here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to create some work zones here. So work zone one is going to be here and here. And you are going to work from here. So this place, this place, and... Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't put another keeper hut in here yet, did I? Wait a minute. So let's get our other keeper hut in here. Because we've got a... Trade center, keeper hut, workshop. Wait a minute. I put a trade set, or I put a research center here when I should have put a... Mechanics. What? That happened forever ago. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Come on. Come on. You had it. There we go. Okay, so we got the mechanic and we need a keeper hut as well. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now we can actually do our work zones. That's 
glad I checked in on that. All right, so edit work zone. So these two, these are going to be the that and that. So they've got a break room, a mechanic shop, a keeper hut, and then they're going to need access to these buildings as well. Um, my keeper or my uh, mechanic is going to work on these as well as these here. I don't even know if these ATM machines break down, but we'll have them go over there. And that'll be work zone one. Okay. So then we're going to do a new work zone. Work zone two is going to be... Actually, wait. Wait a minute. Um, oh, god damn it. I hit control Z, and it deleted the building. I wanted it to delete the area that I actually put down. Ugh. Okay. All right. Three hours into the stream, and I'm losing my mind a little bit. There we go. Good god. Try this again. Okay, so work zone one. Let's take you off of here. Come on. Um, you, you, you. You, you. Okay. And... Okay, so that's work zone one. Okay. Do a new work zone. I don't trust clicking the, the plus button because it never seems to work right. Okay. We're going to do this, this, and... This and this. Um, you can also work on this and this. This here, this here, this and this. Okay. Um, also here, here, and here. Okay, so that's going to be called Work Zone 2. Fantastic. And then finally... Wait, it's actually called Work Zone 3. What the hell? No, it's Work Zone 2. Okay. Okay. Work zone three, here, mechanic shop, keeper shop, these here, break room, here, here, and here. Okay. So I think we're good. So now I just got to place my workers in the proper spot. So staff, we're going to do, oh, an additional keeper. Let's hire him. There we go. And let's get some promotions going. Who can be promoted? We got some five-star employees, which is really good. Um, I guess you were the only one that I can promote. Okay. So we got some beginners here. Um, I'm going to put one of our beginners. Let's see. This keeper is going to go work zone one. Um, Elba, I'm going to put you in work zone three. And Susie, you're going to be work zone two. Mechanics. Um... Work zone one, work zone two, and work zone three. Okay, there we go. So now I should have people dedicated to specific places. I need to set you to every six months. There we go. Okay. There. I think we're up to speed now, I think. Rick, what animals do you have at the moment? I have, um, well, let's take a look. So if I look at my zoo, and I look at my animals, Here's my list. I have 40 animals. Wild dogs. Um, wildebeest. Um, bongos. Sudanese death adders. Ostriches. Gemsbox. Common warthogs. Um, some Mexican red knee tarantulas. Nyalas. Opaki. Or Okapi. And springbok. Um, as well as some animals in my trading area too that I need to place. Um, oh, there's still one more springbok that needs to go in with the group. So there we go. By the way, my spring block that I have in here, how are you guys doing? Um, you're going to need... Let's see, do you have the hard shelter that you need? Habitat? Yes, okay. So all my animals should be good now, I think. And it'll warn us if they're not. And this place still needs to be cleaned, so let's get it cleaned up. Come on, guys. Come on. And you just keep trying to inbreed, little Karama. But I've got you on birth control, so that shouldn't be a problem. And great. So what is going on with this area? Why are you not feeding my animals or cleaning up after them? You're irritating me. Now I'm getting diseased animals in here because you can't freaking clean it. There you are. Just there you go. Get to cleaning, you jerk. Such a jerk. Um, is the vet on the way? 
Yes, that's on the way. Okay. Jeez, what a dink. I should hire another vet as well to start to do some more research. Um, I think I'm going to put another area over here for our vet. Let's do a facility here. Um, vet Research Center. Place you. It's just right there for now. There we go. These are temporary places. Uh, let's do zoo and hire more staff and do another vet. There we go. Um, which means that we're going to need some research. And I'm going to research that disease that's going around. Here we go. I'm going to put Jackie Lou on that. And now we need to start researching some animal stuff. All right. Yeah, that guy was a big old dink. My poor animals are getting all sorts of diseases. These gems box over here. You gotta be kidding me. Um, which ones are fighting for alpha status here? We've got uh, Springbox fighting for alpha status, huh? Okay. Which means that we probably have too many male Springbok. Let's take a look at our animals here and see how many male Springbok we have. Um, species. Springbok. Okay, we have, yeah, we have three males. And if I take a look at their um, Zoopedia, let's see. They can have, they could be up to 3 to 35, but I, hmm, I still feel like we should probably only have one male. You know what I mean? So, let's sort through our males here and see. We got Chatta right here. We've got Unika. Okay, I think Unika's just a baby though. And then we have Obi. Okay, Obi, you're terrible, all right? Obi, I'm going to send you away. I do not need you breeding with my animals. Because you are not a good animal to have. There we go. I'm going to release you. And that should actually take care of the alpha status issue, too. Because the other one, I think, is a baby. Um, so we still do have just that poor, diseased animal. And then we've still got these dogs fighting for alpha status. And you know what? I think that these animals would be happy to just be a pair of male. Like, just... Um, one male, one female. If I look at their Zoopedia. Um, come on, Zoopedia. There we go. Zoopedia and... Open up, Zoopedia. Come on. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they, they're happy in a group of two. So I'm just going to send a female away. All right. Let's see. Go to my... I find it's easiest just to go through here. So we have... Um, Two females and one male. Which one is the better female? Let's see. Latoya or Sekagala? Uh, Sekagala all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and send you away, all right? There we go. Release you. And now that issue is finally taken care of. Finally. And there we go. So now we just got to get things up to speed, right? Because we've built this large new area and it's going to take a minute to get all of the research that we need done um so as far as my animal trade goes I still have a bunch of warthogs in here that I need to send in so like this warthog right here hold on I'm going to move you in and I already have another male warthog in here but that Warthog that I'm sending in is really good. So let me look at the Warthogs that we have in here real quick. Um, warthog, here we go. So, Tumaini. Tumaini, what is your deal, buddy? Are you in here? Ye where are you? Is this Tumaini? Yes, you are Tumaini. Okay. And your stats, 75, 83, 66, and then 50% size. But that's versus... What stats for our boy who's coming in right now? Let's see. I want to see him when he arrives. Okay. What's your stats there, buddy? Your stats are better. Okay, so we've got to get rid of this, uh, this buddy boy in here. Where were you? Was this you? No, it wasn't you. Is it you? Yes, there you are. Okay. 
I'm gonna send you away, buddy. Um, I will trade you, okay? You're silver. I'm, I wonder if you go bronze when I move you into the trading area. Let's see. You do! So, like, when I send a gold animal to the trade center, it becomes silver. When I send a silver one, it becomes bronze. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's trade you. I'll trade you for, like, I don't know, 30. All right. No. Oh. How come backspace doesn't work? There are so many weird things in this game. So, like, I can't delete, which is so weird. But I, it will let me type in this. So, like, I'll go down to one. I can't delete one, but I can type. Why is that a thing? Why won't it let me delete? There are so many strange things about this game. What is the deal? Okay. 50. There we go. Trade. Such a weird, like, there's just so many little things about the game that just don't make any sense. It's so bizarre. And why are my bongos hungry? For the love of God. Some, you have food. It's rotted. Okay, well, that explains it. There you go. Feed my animals. Jeez Louise. We've got to get all these people trained up, you know. Let's go to... The downside of expanding as quickly as we have is that... Uh, there is a little bit of a catch-up that has to happen at a certain point. Okay, so you're ready for promotions. There we go. Once I get you guys promoted, then you'll be able to fill up these people or these animals things a lot more efficiently. Okay, bongos are taken care of. Let's fix this price issue that we have. Let's go up to 14. Hopefully that's not too great a leap. There you go. And how are my exhibit animals doing now? Um... You look good. You look alright. Okay, good. Okay, underpriced issue is fine. It looks like most of our issues have been resolved for the time being. Now, hopefully, I can finally just focus on trying to get all of my animals out of here now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Start trading some of you guys. I'm just going to release you into the wild, okay? Just releasing you. I gotta clean up our animal trading area. There's still a lot of animals in here. Um, I still got a couple gems box in here, huh? I'm just gonna... I have a gems box area, don't I? Is this the gems box area? It is. And I have plenty of gems box in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trade the gems box out that we have in here. And I'm just gonna release them into the wild, just for a quick turnaround. Alright. Animal trading... Are they actually being released? Okay, that one was. Good. So now I have this one. Release into the wild. It's not actually releasing it. What the heck? Release it! You're still there! Release into the wild! You cannot undo this action. That's fine. Release. What the what? Release it! Oh my god. This game. Like... They fix one thing and then a million other things break. I want to love this game so much. And I do. But man, I, I long for the day when this game just works properly. Does Work Zone 2 need a staff room? Um, no, because they are sharing... Um, the same staff room. So they can share um, things within a staff zone. So you can actually see if I go into my uh, staff and I go work zone. So work zone one, this is the staff room. And then um, work zone, come on. I just want to switch to work zone two within there. There we go. And you can see right here, orange means in another, wait. Oh, wait, orange means in another work zone. You are very keen. It did need one. You're absolutely right. Good looking out. Good looking out. Um, okay. So, animal will fight for alpha status. Nyala. Okay. These Nyala are now fighting too. Great. So many alpha status issues happening here. Because we have a lot of males going on. This is just a babby male. But now we have two full-grown males. 
that we need to check in on. So, let's check in on my Nyala. Okay, so, not the baby. Um, this one here, Jaja. Okay, you're pretty great. And this male here, Wakisa, you're not as great. So, I'm going to go ahead and release Wakisa. Okay. There we go, cool. So, they seem to release just fine from the habitats, but they seem to be having issues releasing them from the trading area, which is weird to me. Um... Like this gems box here that I've been trying to get rid of. Um, what if I just go quick trade just to get rid of it? Will that work? Okay, that that seemed to have worked. Uh, okay, so I still have all of these warthogs in here too. I'm just going to see. Let's see. This one, I think it's too young to sell. This one. Um, if I just do a quick trade, can I get rid of it? There we go. C cool. Okay, so that one, it's got 54 more minutes left on the trade. Uh, time to move our copy into a place. Let me look at the Zoopedia. Okapi. These are the ones that are only one to two. So one of these Okapi is going to have to go. Not all three of these Okapi can move in. So let me see here. Well, actually, I think one of them is a baby. No, they're not. Okay, this one is very old, though. Oh! This one's probably going to die soon. I wouldn't be surprised to see it die very soon. Okay. Because I think the life expectancy of an Okapi is like 26 years. And that one is 26 years old. Okay, but a, either way, let's let's make a uh, area for my Okapi, shall we? Actually, no. I'm going to hold off on that. We're going to make an area for our um, primates. Primate area. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, where's the new primate area going to go? Let's do it down here. All right. Go. This area expanded. Is this on? Okay, good. It is on short grass. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't putting in more long grass. Because that would annoy me. Let's shrink up the size here so I can just right in it. Cool. All right. Um, smooth it out a little bit. Oh, it's snowing. Snow means that my animals are probably going to be very upset because they don't like the temperature. Um, yep. It's a bunch of low welfare happening here. Because we need to put in heaters. Okay. This is the downside of being in North America. Um, habitat. Heaters and coolers. Okay, heaters. So, start placing some of these. I think I can get away with putting just two in each. So, two there. Two in here. There, and two in here. We're going to need more than two in here. Okay, heaters everywhere. Cool. Um, hopefully that'll warm them up. We'll see. Yep, there we go. Animal welfare is fine. And mechanics have finished research and stuff. Um, two people finished researching. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What's going on? Uh, I see Ace Man JD asks, how's my day? My day's good, Ace. Thanks for asking. How's your day going? Um... Just about to build a new um, primate exhibit here. Finally get some primates in our zoo. All right. And luckily, some of the primates that we're going to be putting in here, they enjoy the snow. So, 
let's see, how are we, where are we going to put these primates, huh? I think this area over here would be just dandy for primates, right over here. So, I'm going to do a staircase going down this way, but yeah, we're going to do like a oval-shaped thing over here. Let's go ahead and go to our seven, because seven's kind of been our lucky number. And let's see, can I make a curved area over here that will get by? Is it too close? No, it's going to be way too close. Um, maybe if I scoot you up to here. Need to be ginormous. Can go a little bit farther back than this. Got to get it just right. There we go. Swing it on around, and then I've got to get this side. I'm going to make this... Oh God. Just keep coming a little bit too close. Um, shucks. I wish that you could just pick up and move paths. That would be so helpful. last time. Come on. Yeah, the ability to pick up and move paths would be a game changer. Okay, there we go. That's... That's it. That's what I wanted. That'll work. And now let's do a big old path. Connecting these two. Okay, that's going to be our primate exhibit over here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to modify the path a little bit more. Let's go. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's go seven. Okay. Um, There we go. It's a it's a different shape. It's a new and different shape, but I I did that because I'm gonna want to make the uh, primate exhibit bigger than normal. And the primate's gonna need plenty of space. There we go. Oh, and you know what I'm going to need to know in order to get pi primates? Ooh, I'm glad I remember this before I started putting primates in. Is we're going to want climbable, um, like, uh, enrichment items for our, our little guys. So, I'm going to want to get some stuff in here that they can climb on. But I need to start researching that. So, we're going to do that in just a moment. As soon as I get done placing these walls.
There we go. Okay. So that'll be our private area. Let's do zoo and go to... Let's see. Let's have William Yates actually do this so that we can get it done fast. It's going to be habitats. Is that what we're going to want? Yes, I believe that that's what we want is habitats. There we go. We're going to want to get some climbable stuff for our animals. And what do we got here? That research complete. Great. All right. So we researched that disease that was spreading. So let's see. We've got wildebeest being researched. And let's do ostrich research. There we go. All right. Um, more vet research complete. Fantastic. That's them wildebeest. Let's go ahead and do, 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 do common warthogs. There we go. Now we can go ahead and put that path back. Kind of where we had it before. There we go. Put that path in. And let's see. I think that we're going to have enough manpower to take care of all of this stuff. I'm probably just going to need to hire another keeper or something. So this should this should work. Um, okay, good. The snow's melting. Fantastic. As far as this enclosure goes, am I just going to split it in half or what? Let's find out the space that we have. If I were to put a barrier in here and look and see how big it is. It is, it's pretty big, 2,596 meters squared. And then I could actually go and see what kind of space my little primates need. So I have two types of primates in here right now. The Japanese macaw, I look at their zoopedia and find out how much space they're going to need. They, they only need 300 meters squared, which isn't a lot. Um, and then, of course, we have the little ring-tailed lemurs too, I believe. Um, I have a spotted hyena. Wait a minute. Oh snap! I have spotted hyenas. I need to. Ooh, I need to get them into my zoo. Um, and then these little ring-tailed lemurs. Let's see. How much space do you guys need? Probably not a lot. Okay, you only need 210. Okay, yeah. So you guys don't need a lot of space at all. I can actually divide this in half and then divide it in half again, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Um, shoot, I thought they needed more space. Everything that I've been doing was thinking that they needed a ton of space. They don't need a lot of space. Oh, snap. I am a dummy. Well, if that's the case, I'm just going to make this circular. My god, I apologize, because it seems like I've been working on this path situation for, like, an hour. But, okay. All right. We're just going to do a traditional circle, then. My goodness. Um, one of our traditional circles. I can actually just get away with dividing one of my circles in half, and that's going to be plenty of space for these primates. Cool. Okay. Um, barriers. 10 meters. Perfect. So, like I was saying, we're going to divide it in half. We'll divide it in half um, right along here. So, I'm going to go barrier and set this to five meters. And like that. I'm going to set this to snap at 90. There we go. And then we're just going to go right down the middle. Um... quite right down the middle like I wanted. So. See, that is. That's looking more down the middle. Okay, so. That's too much. God, golly. I'm trying to get this just right. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's go like this one. Right down the middle. Okay. 
There we go. That's that's right down the middle. Perfect. That is what I wanted to do. Cool. Oh, come on. What the heck, man? Oh. There we go. All right. So we've divided it in half, and then we're going to raise it up. These are primates, so excuse me. Um, they're going to need this thing to be tall, all right? Otherwise, they're going to just climb right the heck out. Let's get it nice and tall. And then they can also climb, so we're going to want to make this climb proof. So... Also, I'm thinking, you know what? Why don't we replace some of these walls with glass? There we go. Because glass would just make it classy, you know what I mean? Just class the joint up. Oh, there we go. And that's backwards. <laughs> of course it is. So let's flip it around. Uh, no, actually, no, it's not backwards, is it? No, it's the right way. There we go. So. Do the same over here. Cool. Okay. So we got our uh, exhibit right there for our primates and now we just got to get some doors on there and get the primates inside okay um barriers one over there one over there okay cool um now let's just move them in as soon as we're done researching the climbing stuff because they are really going to need some climbing stuff they're going to be happy and a bongo's about to inbreed. Okay, did I put you on birth control? I did. Okay. I don't understand why it keeps telling me that. Like, yeah, it, it's disturbing. This is nature, all right? That these related animals are going to get down and do... Oh, come on. Come on. But they're not going to be able to have babies, so no big deal. All right? We're fine. Um, I probably should replace the bongo with a another um, male bongo, maybe, to... So they can keep breeding, but, you know. And, ooh, the Gems box have a improper mix. Okay, so... Too many males. We're gonna have to get rid of one of these Gems box males now. Okay. Alright, my friend, the Gems box. One of these males has got to go. Um, oof! Oof, you're a stinker. I'm sorry. Adun B, you've got to go. Um, I'm going to just let you go. There we go. How close are we to finishing up this uh, mechanic research, by the way? Okay, we got to get habitats done. Just waiting now. Rick, can I mention something real quick? Yeah, go for it, Danny. I'm listening. are and what's going on here vet research is complete fantastic ostrich and warthog is done um, we need to do some springbok and some spider research and we've got our um, what's going on springbok have a ratio issue now huh okay Let's see here. Um, Springbok. What's going on? Just double check. Cli uh, climb proof is on for the primates. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you for reminding me. I, I, I made a note of that, and then I didn't do it yet. So, yes. Thank you for reminding. Uh, okay, so I've got a Springbok who is pregnant. And, yes, we have two male Springboks, so we need to get rid of one. Um Chata, what's your deal? Your silver, okay. Not bad. Longevity is a little bit low. And then Unica, what is your deal? Um, yeah, Unica, you lose that competition, I'll tell you right now. So we'll just go ahead and send you away. 
All right. Okay, Unica's gone, and that should fix that problem. Okay, and then we've got some research done. Is it the climbing? No, it's the souvenir shops. Damn it. Um, okay, Habitat should be done soon, though, because we got uh, Yates on it. He's the best one we got. Okay, that research has been completed. This research is getting done fast now. Real fast. Um, Springboks are about to inbreed. I don't think I've set you to... Yep, there we go. So, Ify, you should definitely be having babies because you are really good. Um, you know what? I'm going to go find another male, and then maybe we're going to replace Chatta with... Uh, let's see. I'm going to see what's on the market right now for Springboks. Let's check it out. If I were to search by Springbok, can I get another really good Springbok and then we can start having really good Springbok babies in here? Um, wow! A gold Springbok is a thousand. That's And their immunity gene's not even that good. Give me a break. Um, but those are females too. And I need males. So let's filter by males. It's all females. How is it nobody is trading males? Let's see. Go the other way. Is it only female Springbok? How is that possible? Where are all the males at? Nobody is... I find this hard to believe. That there's not a single male... Oh! Why are males unchecked? Excuse me. Well, no freaking wonder. Okay. Okay. Um, there we go. There's the males. Alright. Males are much more affordable, actually. The females are in much higher demand. Uh, here we go. 200. Let's sort by price now. Let's see. Affordability. Um, got some silvers for 150. If it's a matter of 50 credits, then I may as well just buy a gold. Okay. Ooh, look it! We got an albino. Um, this one's kind of amazing, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna adopt you. There we go. And we'll move you to... Quarantine. There we go. Cool. All right. So we'll check back in on that Springbok. And in the meantime, we'll get rid of that other Springbok that was just about to... There we go. Chatta. So I'm going to go ahead and send you away, Chatta. All right. We're going to release you into the wild. There we go. Chatta, there you go. And... Ooh, got some lag there. When we zoom in. Okay. Mechanic research complete. Is it the climbing? It's Africa theme. Come on. Climbing is so close. We're so close. Can you move your cam to the left bottom corner? I can move it to... I'll move it to the bottom right corner. Um, ba -do 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 -do. Actually, I can move it to the bottom left. Sure. 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 There you go. Happy now? Hopefully that makes it better. Okay, so once my Springbok gets the all clear, I'm going to move them in. And then we can hopefully start to have little Springbok babies. And I'm going to die. Um, ooh. Of old age. Okay, it was an old bongo. Um, oh, poor bongo. Okay. Which bongo was that? Was that my breeding bongo? Was that the male? I hope not. Um, no, it wasn't. Okay. Bye, poor bongo. Okay. That's fine. Inspector is at my zoo now, and... Ooh, good. You got the all clear. Let's move you in. Go. Move. All right. Move you right in. So we do have some hyenas that we can move um, as well. So we've got the wild dogs here. Building a hyena area right here would kind of be dope. Springbok had offspring. Ooh, cool. Okay. Um, oh, and I've got VIPs as well. I should be saying hello. Um, I got so used to playing on challenge instead of franchise that I forgot saying hello gives us credits. There we go. Give me free credits. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's talk about a hyena exhibit. So, yeah, right by the dogs would seem to make sense to me. Let's do another circle over here. So if I start the circle right around here, say. Actually, a little higher up, probably. Here.
all the way around. Um, you know, it could be a little bit better centered, but I'm not going to nitpick. That'll work. Um, let's make a couple of larger paths going to it. that and like that there we go um yeah that's the same bongo that died before right yeah okay we know all about that uh oh we got research complete okay so now i think that we can do climbables now um mechanic research is complete yes finally habitats so now we should probably have some climbing stuff here so if i were to go to let's see what is the it's the macaw it's the macaw that we've got so Oh, let's see. Enrichment. Um, climbing. Here we go. Actually, no. You haven't researched climbing. Wait a minute. Did I research the wrong thing? Habitats. Barriers. No, I didn't. Let me see here. Um, are these just... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had to have researched the wrong thing then. Barriers. No. Shelters and climbing. That's what I should have been researching this whole time. Ah, wasted time. Okay. Shelters and climbing it is. There we go. Do I still want to support a ticket? I mean, sure. Yeah. Why not? Um, okay, well, while we're waiting for that, we can still get our hyenas in here. So let's do it. Um, we're getting a lot of visitors now. Animals are fighting. Ostriches now have an incompatible uh, blend, so... That usually means too many males. Let's get rid of one of my ostriches. Common ostrich. Um, oh, we have way too many males. Um, we got little babies. They just had babies. That's why. But we have two full-grown ostrich boys. That's a gold one there. And uh, you are just okay. Um, actually, wait. Is that a better icon than the others? So... Animal appeal, 1125 versus 1125. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you are, you are not good. So I cast thee out. There we go. Get you out of here. And I know the animal died. Go take the animal away, you silly vet. Uh, thank you to Vincent Exo. For those seven months in a row, this is my favorite stumped member, Team Rick. Thank you. That that means a lot, Exo. Thanks a lot. You guys, drop some bears. Um, barrier. Gonna go with 10, 10, 10 meters. All right. Time to make a area for my hyenas. Like it's just been too rainy at this place. Too wet and rainy. Okay. And... Let's... Oh, come on. I want to raise it. Raise it up, please. There we go. Two, three, ten, and let's put down a barrier. Gate. Um, not the big one. Just a little one. Put the barrier gate over here. There we go. And another animal died? About old age. Okay, wow. Animals dying of old age left and right over here. Um, it has been a while. We've been playing for a long time this uh, this go around. Um, was that my only male? Okay, good. It wasn't. That was a female. I kind of hate that you can't... Oh, you can't see the, the sex of the, the animal. Never mind. Okay. It's just right there. Okay, so that was an adult female. Hasina. Our old grandma Gebsbach. Old granny Gems. Uh, let's do some windows now. Glass. For my hyenas.
cool. Okay. Um, and we're gonna need some hyena facilities. Do a shelter for you guys. It might be the hyenas that didn't need a uh, heart shelter, maybe. Okay. And then, oh, is this in the zone for water? I think it might be outside of the zone, actually. Let me see here. I think it is. Yeah, it's well outside. Um, if I wanted water in here, I'm going to need a... Well, I'm going to need power first off. And it should actually have power. Because we're near yet the entrance. So I could put a water generator over here, actually. Wouldn't be a bad idea. They're expensive, but... Actually, no. Yeah, they are. They're, they're pretty spendy. Needed to be outside of the range of... Actually, it needs to be in power, and then also... Hmm, okay, yeah, I'll just put it over here. 2,000 bucks. Okay. Which means that now I need a path. Okay. That'll give them water. Let's do a nice little lake for them. A big old lake for them. There we go. All right, let's start to move our hyenas inside now. Spotted hyenas, two of them. They're not the greatest hyenas in the world. Well, okay. More Nyala issues. Oh god, you, you're all licking each other and stuff? Alright, you, you guys, you're weirding me out. Um... Okay, I think I need to get another female in here. That isn't... Actually, another male in here is actually what I need. Let's check out um, what we can do as far as a new male Nyala goes. Let's see here. Need to diversify our... Animals' genetics, you know? Um, not Springbok, but Nyala... There we go, Nyala. Okay, we have not a lot of great males, but I mean, we have a gold male, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just so good. Okay, we're just going to keep it the way it is for now. Just really, just keeps trying to get down with this female. It's just not going to happen. Broken barrier? Oh, crap. Um, Where? Oh my goodness, okay. I'm glad it told me that we caught it before they got away. Uh, <laughs> okay. How did that happen? What's this barrier at right now? What's the, uh, it's at 22%, so that's, that's surprising, honestly. Okay, this gemswalk has gotta go. Um, we got animals dying left and right. This springbok died of old age too, okay. My goodness. Um, that's another female. So many animals dying. And all I want to do is get my hyenas. Let's go. Yeah, Suzanne, everything's good with me today. How's everything with you? Good to see you, as always. Um, oh, we need to get a feeder for our hyena. There we go. All right, hyenas have arrived. Beautiful, all right. And let's just get this place prepared for them. So as always, is too much uh, long grass. So we're gonna want to get some soil going. Okay. All these animals usually love soil. So that's one thing that you could usually count on that they're gonna need is lots of soil. Um, 
start to dust this place with soil. There we go. Um, that's too much soil, so now we're going to need to do some short grass. Okay. And now let's just start to make some terrain. Like we do. a little bit and then some plant coverage it's just going to be grasslands We're doing a lot of that grasslands uh africa grasslands let's see do, 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 biome um uh, grasslands and continent africa there we go um do one of these bioba trees baobab trees i know i'm probably saying that wrong i realize i'm sorry i'm sorry um and then some grass in here as well there we go and that, that'll do, honestly. There we go. That'll that'll keep them happy. There we go. We've got our hyenas in here, finally. And look at that. Our, our zoo is actually pretty large and in charge. Pretty large. Um, now we're going to... Would you get these poor animals out of here? Jeez, I need to include this into one of our uh, new areas, I realize. So let me... Go into staff and let's promote people that we can promote real quick. We've got quite a few five-star uh, people now, which is great. Okay, people are getting good at their jobs and work zones. There we go. So let's include it into this zone. There we go. Okay. And actually, you know what? That zone, let's share it. That zone can actually be in zone one and two. There we go. We'll let them share the load on that one. Okay, so now we've got our hyenas. Um, what I realized is that we never did turn on the signs down here, and we should. So we'll go black wildebeest and uh, common ostrich. Way over here, we've got a warthog. Here, we've got springbok. There we go, and then we'll just repeat. Wildebeest. Ostrich. Common warthog. There we go. Cool. Now we're informing people about what those animals are and what they do. And, okay, we've got a damage barrier. Let's go ahead and... Is that on six month? It is. Okay, we just need to call somebody to fix it. Call mechanic and we need to get you on a six month rotation. Every six months. There we go. How weak is this one at the moment? 9%? My goodness. Yeah, that does need to be fixed. Um... Oh my god, this one's at 2%? My god, why are these not being repaired? Every six months. Let's go, let's go. I need more mechanics. More mechanics. Um, okay, call a mechanic there. And yeah, it's time to get some mechanics. I'm going to hire at least one more. My goodness, okay. There we go. One more mechanic. Put the water generator in the zone. Thank you, yes. I'm going to need to do that. Work zones. Let's do... And that as well can go in work zone one. There we go. Since I just put a new mechanic in, hopefully that'll get fixed up. Okay. We've got some research that has been completed. Souvenirs in Africa theme. Africa theme is done, by the way. Um, and we got people who can research stuff. My goodness. Let's do it. Um, <clears throat> let's go with... Research Habitat's there. Sean Masters, you can do power. And then Stan Hitchcock, you're going to do... Hmm. We're getting a lot of research done. Do East Asia themes. There we go. And then over here, we've got some vet research completed. That's the spring box, baby. All right. So now we just got to get these habitats fixed up. But they are in route right now, so we're good. All right. All right, all right. Uh, I didn't do the donation boxes for my hyenas, so we need to do that real quick. Let's do facilities real quick. There we are. Facilities. Go with... Uh, there they are. Donation boxes. And... 
11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. All right. And then we need, of course, some info boards. There we go. And two more. All right, last one. There we go. Cool. Um, and it looks like one of my animals just matured, and I believe it was one of my new Nyala. Yep, it's... Okay, we've got two really good Nyalas here, one of which I'm going to have to send away. Um, 66, 75, 83, 83 versus 66, 66, 83, 83. So this one is going to have to go away. Uh, I'm going to send you to the Trade Center. There you go. And I bet you that that one will be converted to a silver when I trade it, send it to the Trade Center, which sucks, but, you know. Um, wait, no! This one remained gold, so I'm confused. I've had animals be downgraded all day. This one seems to be fine. Um, okay. Oh, when I'm researching, they don't walk the rounds? Okay, that, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Um, okay, we're going to trade you. And I can tr probably trade you for a decent amount. Let's do... I could probably get at least 100 for you. There we go. Let's let's try to get at least 100. Um, yeah, you know what? If they're just spending all their time researching, then you know what? I'm going to take... Um, Wade out and... Williams out. There we go. I'm just going to leave Stan and uh, Sean researching. There you go, Sean. You can do that. And Stan, you can do... Um, actually, you know what? Stan, you can do staff facilities. There we go. That's what you can do. All right. So there we have it. We've got our boards up now, but we need to turn them on. Oh, there's no power on that one. Oh, okay. There's no power on that one either. Okay. Yeah, those ones are outside of the power range. Okay. Um, we'll address that issue later. Did I finish researching the um, climbing? I almost have research level one done. Almost. Okay. Because I really want to get our macaws in here before the end of this thing. Uh, that research is complete. All right, spring box are gold now. So, oh, Jackie Lou isn't researching right now. Oh, snap. Um, here, let's have you do hyenas there. Okay. Then I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to try to get my macaws in here before the end of the stream. So let's see if I can make that happen. Um, these barriers need to be fixed. Let's go ahead and call that mechanic. Um, come on, come on, come on. Getting so close. Oh, it's oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. Um, Gemsbach are fighting. I imagine that we probably got a new male Gemsbach in here. I don't see you guys currently fighting, but let's see. Okay, you're not currently fighting, so I'm not going to sweat it at the moment. I just want to get my macaws. Come on. That research complete. Come on! Mechanic research complete. There we go. Perfect. Now I can do climbing. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Um, Springbok are fighting now, too? So many animals want to fight. Um, oh! You're fighting my baby! My baby isn't grown up yet. There we go. Now my baby's grown up. Um, I'm going to have to send my baby away. Gotta send my baby away. There we go. Release you. All right. Now, macaw time. All right. This is where our macaw is going to live now. I'm going to do some climbing. Uh, habitat. Macaw is going to be enrichment. Climbing. Yes, there we go. 
Let's get him a nice little climbing thing. And you can see that the climbing thing is actually too high at a certain point. I'm going to rotate you this way. We're going to need to raise the barriers because, yeah, they will be outside of the area. There we go. Yeah, they've got to go up high. That is a very high wall. Um, hello. There we go. Go up all the way. Thank you. And there we go. And I need to make them unclimbable as well, right? So let's see. Can I do that to all of the walls at once? Um, where is that option to... One-way glass climb proof. Here we go. So the other side... Can actually do both sides too if I wanted to. Um, I think it's climb proof now. What about these sides? Yes, those are climb proof. Perfect. And then these ones I want to do both sides. Okay. Um, both sides. There we go. Now they are climb proof. And now I can start to move my macaws in here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to want to get some food for them as well. Oh, and I'm going to want water for them as well. Um, as a matter of fact, is this within the range of my water purifier? Ooh, just barely. Okay, I can do a little watering area over here. Let's give them a little pool. Just a tiny little watering pool. There we go. To keep them hydrated. Uh, now let's move our animals in. Not the lemurs, but yes, look at all these macaws. I got a lot of them. Move you in. And you. You. That was three, right? Four. I think we have six macaws in all. One, two, three, four. No, we have... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Sora? There you go. Some of these macaw don't have the best stats. Honestly. All right, there we go. Macaws. Let's bring them in. This zoo is actually pretty dope. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. Um, Black wildebeest want to inbreed now. Oh, right in front of the ostrich. You guys are freaks. Freaky. Okay, I'll just give you birth control for now to prevent that. Okay, I'm cause in. Oh, my first one's in. Perfect. Okay, two of them are in. One big macaw and one little baby macaw. Okay, we're gonna want. Um, oh, we're gonna want coolers for this. I can tell you that much, because these animals like the cold, and I'm gonna want. To make sure that we keep some coolers in here. Probably one over here. Actually, let's put that one out a little bit more. And then this one out about there. There we go. Um, cool it down. And some terrain. Let's see. Less short grass, more rock. These guys love to climb on rocks. So let's do a nice little rocky mountain for them to, care to climb on. Let's see. Rock and how's that? Um, now we just need snow for them. There we go. We got lots of rock for them, and now we just gotta dust it with snow. go. Nice snowy area for my cause now. Uh, and they like Taiga Temperate Asia. So let's give them some trees and stuff real quick. This is a new area, guys. We've been focused pretty much exclusively on Africa, and we're finally breaking out into different areas. So Temperate, Taiga, and start to put down some of these trees. Um, 
Oh my god, these trees are amazing. I love them. Okay. Put one there. And... Got some smaller ones. Uh, wait. Relocating? Excuse me. Um... Why are it, um, unbox? So this is what I'm afraid of. I think it climbed to the top and then it said that it was outside of the area. So that is annoying. Um, here, I can put this into the ground. There we go. So maybe you won't get out now, hopefully. Okay, but there you go. There's our macaws. I think that they're happy now. You are still in a box, unbox. There we go, these macaws, man. Um, They need, oh, they need a hard shelter. Aha, hard shelter for the macaw. They're going to need, let's see. Where can we stick these hard shelters? Maybe a couple smaller hard shelters will do the trick. So like this one, we can have over here. And then maybe a smaller-ish one over here. By their food. And this way people can see them in their shelters too. There we go. Um, still not quite enough hard shelters for them. No, 89%. That's good enough. There we go. Um, now they just need enrichment items. And other than that, they should be happy. So there you go. There's our first primate exhibit. Um, and that's probably where we got to wrap up the stream. But check it out. I'm just... I'm happy with the way this is starting to look. Aesthetically, I like the little rings that we've chosen to use, and it just needs a little bit more plants, a little bit more decoration um, to expand, but uh, Habitat 9 has no keeper assigned. Okay, we need to do that, but you know what? I'm going to save the game. Here we go. Save and exit to main menu. Because it is the end of the stream. It's 4.02, guys. My goodness. Time flies when you're playing Planet Zoo. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on this Sunday as I played more of this game that I've just been delighted with. I can't get enough of it. I hope you guys had some fun with us today. Um, thank you for all your help. You guys, I love playing this game with you. Because you guys help me tremendously. I get new tips every time I play with you guys. Uh, just when I think I've figured it all out, you guys tell me some new stuff. And so, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this this uh, Team Planet Zoo. Uh, thank you to everybody who subbed, resub, dropped bits. A lot of you guys being super active today. Thank you so much for joining me. It is um, delightful to have you guys around, really. It makes my day. Uh, you guys... Thanks for being amazing. Thank you for our amazing moderators for hanging out with us today in chat, keeping it uh, safe, positive, keeping it flowing. We had Merit, we had Firestar, we had Enchanted Tigris, we had Benny Jets. Is there anybody that I'm missing right now? Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Um, drop some mod love. We have that mod love emote to show our appreciation for these amazing people. And uh, if you've got it, drop it. If you don't, then just drop a heart, drop a thanks. Just show your appreciation. Uh, they deserve it, guys. And before I leave, who is streaming right now? Let's find out who else is active on Twitch. Is there anybody doing stuff? So many people have been taking time off, it seems. Um, we've got... Interesting. Uh, Lovely Momo's playing 10 million, which is this clicker game that I was obsessed with um, on my phone back in the day. Um, it's so strange that she's choosing to play this now. Uh, we've also got GPTV playing Mario Party and Cup of Noodle playing Life is Strange. Um, any suggestions out there? Uh, maybe we find somebody who's streaming Planet Zoo, huh? And send some love off that way. Let's see, who else is streaming Planet Zoo at the moment? I'm curious. Um, Twitch, are you gonna work? Let's go. Technology. This is what's happening with Twitch, by the way. When I type in Planet Zoo, Twitch is being forked. Come on, Twitch. What's your deal? Help me out. Maybe I'll reload it and it'll work properly. There we go. Planet Zoo. There we go. 
So we've got somebody named Empire. I want to find some 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 nice person. There's a lot of people who I don't think speak English. And I know a lot of you guys out there don't exclusively speak English. But, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and send you off to um, lovely Momo, okay? Because she's playing 10 million, which I think is so interesting. And I'm curious to see what's going on with this. And I hardly ever see her streaming. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Here come, here come the raid, guys. Great and lovely Momo. Thanks for spending your Sunday with me, guys. Um, I'm going to be taking Tuesday off because I'm going to be in Seattle with Mel. And then the next time you guys will see me, it'll be on Friday for Stump Miss. So get hyped, guys. Stump Miss is just around the corner. But until I catch you next time, I've been Rick with Stumped, and I love you guys. Bye, everybody. Have a great week. See ya. See ya. Bye.